So hello, gentlemen, and welcome back to Ratchet and Clank. I should turn this down, it's really loud. Yeah, get rid of some of that reverb. Yeah, there's gonna be a ton of reverb on that. It's usually fine around like. Yeah, I, I took a quick glimpse of the uh, recording from the last session and it didn't have much reverb at all. Yeah, was it Nathan that said it echoed a lot or something? I don't know, but the one we just did the first session of this was pretty good. Yeah, Nathan said it echoed. And there is a tiny echo, but like, it's it's pretty good compared to our previous things. Yeah, like for what we are, like this is pretty good. Yeah, and considering that we have to use an area mic, which kind of sucks. Mm -hmm. Um, you know what I'm gonna do actually? I'm going to, I hate doing this when I personally play games, but it makes sense for yes, runs, especially since we can not hear them as well. I put on some subtitles. I don't want to use the subtitles for the, the later games though, because they, um, have some pretty, like, big reveals that happen through dialogue, and it's, like, kind of spoiled by the, you, you the subtitles. You mean like, spoiler, spoiled like five seconds in Yeah, because you can just see that it says it on the bottom. You know what I mean? The Gadgetron armor I vendor. Ratchet, oh yeah, we should look at the armor. Loop, yeah, there's a new suit of armor, so you can skip the suit of armor. That's what I was talking about. I don't mind uh, dealing with a couple of levels with the shitty armor so that I can yeah, get to this. this but this like we don't 50, have enough for. 60,000. We almost have enough though. We need 3,000. So next mission we'll be able to get that. Alright. Um... Alright, so now the question is, where the fuck are we going? And I think the answer is, wherever the game wants us to, because if we go to... Yeah, if we go to the ship, then it should tell us what we're supposed to do. Exactly, yeah. Because Usually we just got done uh, invading that alien uh, sort of home world there. Yeah. Under, under the sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. Alright, so, um, that's probably what we're supposed to do next. I'm just going to run through each of them. Tyranosis. Yeah, we have the option to do all the challenges here. I might do that sometime when you're not here. Mm -hmm. um, sewer crystals, that's another optional thing. Let's just go to the main thing. But, like, you could get a lot of sewer crystals. Yeah. And get a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Like, you looked at that map. It was pretty huge. Yeah, it was. It was pretty massive. So I'm glad that they sort of put that off to the side and don't actually make us go through. <laughs> like in Ratchet Like last too. time. Halo jump. Splat. This is neat, I guess. Alright. Just, uh... Oh. Just dodge um, the exploding missiles. I guess the red shirts are about to fucking eat it. Yeah. Are any of these guys going to survive? <laughs> these guys kinda suck. It does not seem as if they will. Ow. Maybe we won't survive. No, I was too damaged. It's fine. Hmm. Oh. If I was one of them, that, that proves that they have two health, though. <laughs> Because they die from one of those. What a bunch of chumps. Uh, okay. Let's just... All right. I know I can't buy anything because we're saving up for something. I'm just... The suck. The suck. I always forget every time we leave this game for a bit that I should really just use the guns. Yeah, that's way better. Behind you! <laughs> like, using the wrench in this game seems like you're trying to chop down a great oak tree with this, like, wet sardine. <laughs> that is a weird tool to chop down. Here. Not my first choice. I mean, maybe if you're the knights of me, it would be the first choice. 
That's a reference. Yeah, how's that for an obscure reference? Yeah. That movie gets referenced so much. It is. It does, but I I fear that it may one day become obscure, and that people born after a certain years are going to understand what that movie is. Yeah, I I didn't see that movie for a while, um, but I did eventually watch it. But I saw it later than most people did in my life, anyway. Whoa! Did he kill all my allies? Well, he's about to kill me too. Because I am not a royal. Yeah, random alien number three killed the entire invading force. Yeah. Including the hero. Yeah. Classic. It's believable. I wonder if we're going to get to the part real soon where the game ramps up in difficulty. So far, the enemy variety is not large enough to really make it feel like it's ramping up. Yeah, you saw that one uh, enemy. Or, uh, you saw that one comment on our previous video. I did, yeah. I was talking to him. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I only saw that one. Oh. Yeah, they Wait. mentioned that there was like a. They asked what, what we thought of the enemy variety compared to the other ones. Um, right now, it's mostly just the character. Yeah. And that's kinda it so far. Yeah, I feel like there's mechanically a pretty big difference. Yeah, but because, visually not really. Because they're all like doing different shit, building different weapons. Yeah. But in terms of like actual uh, like variety of difficulty, there really hasn't been any. They're all pretty like uh, running the wheel. I mean in terms of like running the numbers, yeah. like you can tell that they are increasing the oh, come on. They are increasing the difficulty by making the numbers higher. I guess, yeah. That's true. How do I buy all ammo? Is this it? Yeah. yeah, it's just the first button. Which is nice that they did that. Yeah, that is very nice. Single button press to fix it all. Oh, but he already hit me. He just chopped down 40% of the time. Okay, so those big walker guys I really do have to watch out for. Die, please. Thank you. How could he Do a blind fire quest. I was previously trying to get everything, but I'm, I think I'm done doing that because I died. <laughs> it's just like, oh, I died. Time to go speedrun strats. Yep. Time to just focus on killing the enemies and not get shit up literally. Like, I'm a master of speed. <laughs> I, can I am speed. Just, I can fail three times faster than you. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna fail, you might as well do it quickly. I mean, that's a <laughs> and That one little dude was just trying to go and use the bathroom and gets shot down by these guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> poor guy. Okay, these things are the things that fucked me last time. Yeah, and I have to just bob and weave between their shots, because they sort of use their right arm and then their left arm to attack. Yeah. I've got some time. Oh. These dudes wait on me. Oh, Mr. Yeah, I've got time. <laughs> Uh, they're waiting on me to destroy the shield, so I might as well pick up all the shit I can while I wait. Meanwhile, your allies are just like, hmm, I wonder what this thing could be. There we go. Better yeah, they not, could just shoot it. Yeah, like, ooh, better not touch it just in case, though. <laughs> what if it destroys the planet? Oh, this well. one little fucking beetle shape. Shirt. I mean, it wouldn't be like the first time Ratchet has destroyed the planet. That's true. Wow. Use the wrench. I mean, yeah, but See, they have a lot of health. Oh, I guess we are destroyed. <laughs> or at least this whatever this, this thing is ship, which is Question also beetle shaped. Question mark. Is this a ship? Or 
era base or something. I'm coming in on the dropship now. Okay, hello, Sasha. Wow. Go, Ratchet. Get across that bridge. To access your world map, oh, no. press the oh. driving section. Return to monkey. How do I go? Pull the button. Oh, X. I mean, I, I was going to say, if you missed that first trip, I would go. That would be kind of funny. But, not that bad. I don't know where I'm going. They said to, act, to access my world map something, but I wasn't paying I think it's just a select anyway. Yeah. Okay, so we have... So we've got a few question marks here. Yeah. What are my missions here? Destroy the plasma canters. That's what the question marks are, I think. Uh, and these are, and these are optional, and those are complete. So, it's just the turret. Which, oh, no, oh, up there. How do I deal with those? Drive up to Maybe you have to get out when you get close to the Maybe. This is monkey dude shooting from the back of my car, so I was wondering if that's... Yeah, I don't can't go through there. Also, apparently I don't have a Oh, there it is. Why is it reverse square? Who thought this was a good? Who thought this was a good control scheme? I don't know, man. <laughs> Probably okay, so. the same people that let uh, Hideo Kojima uh, get control of Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Um. All right. I can see where the things are. I just don't know how to get up to them once I get there. Right? Because yeah. I guess here makes sense, I can get up this area. That makes sense. Drop the Until the mid to late 2000s, it was still like making games for what? Nintendo consoles. Yeah, believe it or not. Why? <laughs> I have no Who was idea. Who buying them? I have no idea if people were buying them. But, like, they were making them. But certainly not really. Yeah. I mean, so okay. That, so that's something. Another thing that people are going to like eventually. Yeah. Eventually, all will be forgotten. But I remember that, like, oh. when I was in elementary school, early on, like, people were, would talk about Pokemon and Disney. But I yeah. guess only one of them decided to stand against the plan. Honestly, though, even back when Digimon was a thing, you could tell Pokemon was going to last longer. This is also true. I, I just feel like Pokemon had more memorable design. Yeah. At least in the early generations. Yeah. Later generations, I feel like they've gotten a little too complicated for their own good. Yeah, the later generations actually look comparable to Digimon. Some of them. Some of them, not all. Not all. There are definitely some gems out there. Uh, very nice design. Simple. Simple. So it gets the job done. Looks nice. Um. Well, yeah, there are definitely some that are like, yeah, well, it's not some. Okay, go all of them around me. Okay, good. I was gonna say, if I, I swear to God, if I get out of this cutscene and instantly get hit, I'm gonna eat this. Yeah, falling debris hits you for 20 damage. <laughs> yeah, 28. Yeah, that's how much health I have. No, instantly. 20. Because it's enough to make sure that you fail later on, but not <laughs> enough to bump you back later on. Fair enough. Just enough to waste my time. So, there's a thing there, but I don't see... Oh my god, this... The driving control and the tank control. Clearly you need to... I can't look any other direction when I'm in this. Uh, so, I just wanted to look up there. So clearly, you need to think like big rigs over the road racing and just click reverse so you can go over all of the textures. <laughs> big rigs over the road racing is a masterpiece, I think we all know. 
Yes. Yes. There is nothing comparable to make things go over the place. <laughs> for better or for worse. Why did that happen? Do you know what the cause of that bug was? Um, because there's some, like, fucking Eastern European devs tried to rush out a game. Yeah, but why Why specifically backwards did that happen? I don't know. Like, what's the, what's the computer science behind it? I'm thinking, like, when you press a button, it sort of accelerates you up to a maximum speed, sure. at which point it stops accelerating you and keeps you at that certain speed. But they forgot to put in that sort of maximum speed for the reverse button. So you, so, can just keep so you can just keep building speed and roll over every single texture in the game. <laughs> As though it was nothing. Do we have a grappling hook yet? Yes. We do? I think so. I think so. Not on our weapon, though. Did you try? Can I try what? Did you look? Yeah. On your weapon? None of these things are grappling hooks. Oh, I'm thinking like the whip is a grappling hook. Yeah. Yeah. So. Ignore me. I don't think we have it yet. How do I. See my gadgets. Uh, yeah, we haven't gotten the grappling hook yet. That's weird. Didn't we start yeah. with the grappling hook last time? Yeah, we started with the hook too. Or at least we got it like in the first two minutes. Huh. Well, maybe this is that level. Maybe this is the one we get it. Yeah, maybe it's like, oh, hey, Ratchet, you forgot your grappling hook. Even though you really had no reason to give it up. Yeah. Like, imagine going into this game with the regular difficulty enemies, but you just have all of your shit from the <laughs> previous game. That'd be awesome. Like, welcome to die. Yeah. Come in with your fucking power armor. Shit. <laughs> yeah, the power armor of all things. Oh man. This is really going to suck over how we are starting on this level. But hopefully it gets better once we can. Them. Yeah, we have enough now. We had enough like two minutes into this recording. We just we're already here, so I can't yeah. go back. At least I mean, not right now. I mean, I mean, I might be able to. But... I'm shooting. Sure. Are you shitting me? Yeah, that dude kills me in two hits. Do you want to try? Maybe I should just go back and see if I can get anything. Like, I know there's a war going on, but we're gonna peace out for a second. <laughs> yeah. Don't mind us, we're just gonna head to the start of the Phoenix. I mean, the Phoenix is probably in canon just right overhead right now. That's fair. So, that car was basically worthless, right? Like the car. Yeah. Yeah, it's literally just to get there slowly and faster. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Which that also could have been achieved by making a smaller level. <laughs> I mean, I guess. I, I'm pretty sure they just wanted to have a scene where you drive a car. Yeah. That's. But it didn't make any sense for the level they wanted to make. Yeah. Alright. Adamantine armor. What does this stuff like? I didn't see it. It just makes you orange. <laughs> cool. Oh boy, I love being purple. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what's that from? SpongeBob. Wait, what SpongeBob is that from? I don't know. I feel like I know most SpongeBob books. I don't remember that one. Hmm. I just simply remember Patrick's. I believe it. I just don't remember it. It was probably one of the later episodes, because I stopped watching it at a certain point. Like, after season two, it kind of went down. The episode that really lost me was, uh, Best Day Ever. Yeah, me too. That episode sucks dick. <laughs> Sorry to whoever it was created that episode. It was so hyped up for, like, the advertisements, too. Dude, my friend, uh, Jake came over. Oh, yeah. 
and we did a sleepover and watched the whole like marathon they had running in yeah. the movie. And we were like, oh, that movie was awesome. And then we watched the episode and we're like, what is it? Uh. <laughs> Funny story. I think I remember hearing that the reason that it sucks so bad is that one of like the lead writers quit after the, the, sec- yeah. after the second season. Yes. I and think so, I don't know. And, so, and, and the beginning was like uh, best day ever. Yeah, that was the first episode with the new writer. Yeah. You know what? I'm just gonna do follow wall right method. <laughs> you will eventually get there. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely worth it. What is this burning? <laughs> Apparently. I killed everything in sight, except for that heat right there. Yeah, you just straight up Yoda these guys with your Honda Civic. (laughs) (laughs) Commit mass genocide, I must! (laughs) Die, please. Sorry, but if you throw one of these big walkers at me, I'm just going to fucking spam to the death with that shit. <laughs> yeah, I need uh, something to like carry, which this classifies as. This also kind of Also, I can go down. So I can go down. Not this. Uh, like... Come on. There we go. I believe in your The game was designed specifically so you can do this. Alright, this is the one I already did. How did I get over there? Oh, right, there's a wall jump here. I think we were talking, so I kind of didn't retain any of this information. No, that's fine. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, it makes me wonder with all these like different sized tyranoids, like, are there different species of tyranoids? Yeah, are they like or uh, is this like a dimorphic species? Yeah, that's what like I was missing. One of the genders is much bigger than the other. Or are we just killing children? Maybe they're just drafting children with the other. Or maybe it's kind of like different uh, species of tyranoids. Like maybe if we didn't kill the new enemy boss, then this is like <laughs> different stages of evolution. Well, it's like if we tried to live alongside Neanderthals and like, oh hey, you, <laughs> you guys are bigger and stronger, so you can be like this part of our army. Did, we... Why did, I, kill... did I already kill the thing up there? Yes. Oh, shit. I didn't realize it stayed dead when I lost it. Hey, that's one thing you could do. Yeah, apparently it did. Unfortunately, that means I can't fucking Honda Civic them anymore. I can't redo that one where I just run in and immediately kill everything. Because that was fun. <laughs> oh yeah, we got to use the car. Yeah. It was worth it for that, if nothing else. Mm-hmm. Obliterate the Tyranoids, I must! <laughs> <laughs> Evade tax collectors, I shall! <laughs> mm. oh, well, you shot him and he jumped like three feet in the air. Yeah. I was it's also like counting it, my shots, and I was pretty sure that was going to kill him. It just didn't. I mean, it's like, I must have, butter scratch. I must have winged him with one of my shotgun shots. Okay, so... Who's to say how those shotgun shots actually deal damage? Yeah. I think it's just a series of pellets that deal with fixed damage. Uh, and only go a specific range. Hit it more directly, snap it, and deal more damage. 
Because you like a real before. shotgun. Much like a real shotgun. I can't believe this happened. I can't believe you've done it. Oh fuck. I can't believe you've done it. <laughs> Um, I, for the record, I pressed to double jump there. I don't know why I didn't. And I just plunged into the depths because of it. So, I'm not happy about that. Alright. You about to head out? I'm about to head in to the With a rusty fork? Yeah. They had it coming. now can <laughs> When uh, these uh, Tyranoids die, their bodies spontaneously the so. Yeah, it is. That is absolutely canon. I thought you were making a joke. You're actually correct. Well, that's canon. Once we're done with it, the forks are coming at me. <laughs> yeah. Look at that shape. The yeah. blaster just absolutely destroys. Yeah, I mean, look at how it killed those fucking mm -hmm. uh, things. I also like that it kind of has the chaos inducing sort of bounce effect if you miss. Yeah, I do like that as well. That's one of my favorite qualities. This is the Ratchet Clank I'm familiar with. Yeah. This actually looks like good gameplay for us. Yeah. Except for that one time when I tried to double jump, it just didn't. It's like, oops. Jump scope. Yeah. I don't know how that happened, but it sucked. Because it wouldn't be as fun. I guess, yeah. But that's not but a also, like, enough answer. Yeah, but also, like, I'm just mashing X. It takes no thought to do that wall jumping. Mm -hmm. So, is that wall jumping even fun? I don't know. I, I, mean, I don't think so. It looks cool, I guess. It does, it looks cool. That's about it. That's about all it's got. I think I was supposed to jump down. I just didn't want to walk back to my car. But either way, I'm going to have to walk back to my car. Like, like, look, I don't have to press a direction, I don't have yeah. to time it, I just do it. You know, one of the funniest, or one of the most um, satisfying wall jumps, um, I gotta mention again, is the Metroid series, specifically the 2D games. Yeah? We don't talk about the 3D Metroids trying to wall jump. <laughs> okay. Um, um, because, actually, you can get through... I'm in it up. <laughs> you just... I tried to bail and dunt and ditch the monkey. You just got absorbed by the rock. I you did. didn't even fall into the water. I did, that's true. Sorry, what were you saying about Metroid 2D? Uh, the 2D Metroid games, uh, the ones that have wall jumping, you don't actually need to use the wall jumping at all in huh. order to get to the game. And the game is actually balanced around the not wall jumping. However... However, the game does have a wall jumping. Uh, they never tell you that they have this mechanic. Yeah, why did I walk into that? Yeah, that's fine. No, it doesn't fine. <laughs> that's a lot, though. It's, it's better than the 16th. But, um, aside from, like, one cryptic scene that you're kind of forced into, um, you are never explicitly told that your character has the ability to wall jump. Okay. Um, and you have to sort of 
point your while you're jumping, you have to sort of point your control stick in the direction of the wall. Then once you touch the wall, you have to tilt the control stick away from the wall and press A at the same time. Mm. So it's really hard to execute. But you can do it. And that's why That's like know, the Mario 64 part. More or less. Yeah. Except for mm -hmm. But that's the, one of the reasons why uh, su uh, Super Metroid is one of the most speedrun games. Hmm. And it's, in fact, one of the games that uh, popularized the speedrun sort of community. Because wall jumping broke the game so wide open that you could just do anything whenever, instead of oh, wow. uh, instead of the linear sequence in which you're supposed to do things. Right. And they somehow managed to make the game where you don't really break it if you sequence break huh. these things. It's just like, right. yeah, this shit's here. Cool. Sorry for the digression. That's fine, you'll have to show me that thing later. I didn't have oh. anything to say about this anyway. That was a big fucking toothy mom, man. Ah, uh, uh, yes. The Matt Mercer's big toothy mom. <laughs> Lava gun. Ow. Just like spraying confetti on his wiener. <laughs> <laughs> well put. Oh! Okay. Lava gun. This feel. Oh shoot. Oh shit! That didn't hit up high. Okay. Uh. Oops, I forgot what that did. Look at that! Oh, I can only have so many anyway. Oops. Oh, look. oh no, they still keep popping up. They pop up when the other ones go down. That's oh, thing. nice. So that they don't overload the game's object. But look, it, the, the minion Nancy just took out so much of its health. Yeah, wow. Um... I don't know what's going on right now. Or what I'm supposed to do about it. Um... What is this? This freeze frame, I guess, is kind of neat. But what the fuck? What?! What the fuck? Oh, shit! Okay. I see. This is... This sucks. This is... <laughs> this kinda sucks, This actually. is interesting, I guess. It's cool in theory. Kinda sucks, actually. I want that. This is as close as you're gonna get to second-person perspective. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're just gonna keep spawning more anyway. Like, I'm glad this exists, I guess. It's neat! And it didn't suck as bad as I thought once I, you know, was able to actually... They, they added second-person perspective into a video. Yeah, that was interesting. I mean, it's no different from just force camera angle. But still. It was at this moment, oh, he shit. realized. Uh, the thing is, that attack was hitting high before, so I didn't think I had to worry about it. But that was okay. Uh, this might not be the best weapon for this. Meanwhile, this is the best weapon for literally everything. Correct, because it's just no bells and whistles. It just hits it. Oh, yeah. It does have one bell or whistle, which is that it bounces. And you miss. This lug is just the Sonic Adventure 2 Bio Wizards Retarded Treasure. Jeez. I don't know, uh, Captain Cork. Sonic First Adventure you made all that much. That's what you said, right? Sonic yeah. Adventure. Now you've defeated the Tyranoids in a spectacular battle on their own planet. How do you explain I only your played, uh, success? the director's cut Courage, thing for the memes. Yeah. And I didn't play all of it. I just played it to see if it would work. Because I thought it'd be a funny thing to stream one day. And then never ended up streaming it because it's Sonic Adventure. Director's cut. Brilliant tactical oh. mind. 
I couldn't Did have you just kill the reporter? Without... I thought the reporter got killed by the Tyranoids during the debriefing last uh, record. That's true. They always do just end with the reporter in imminent Glad danger. To see you made it through hmm. in one piece, Ratchet. You must we have didn't see it, but it was implied. Uh, just like, shut up, Sasha. Are we required to do this? I guess so. Oh, I got my free ammo. That's cool. Glad to see you made it through in one piece, Ratchet. You must have quite a story to tell. Why don't you come back to the Phoenix and fill us in? Okay, so I can just go back to the Phoenix. Okay, good. We gotta remember that there are more challenges here in case I want to do them in the future, but mm -hmm. there's none right now. Well, like, it's probably just for bolts, which, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, most of the challenges in this game are fairly mindless, and therefore uh, decent to do for bolts. And just yeah. Grinding. But mostly if you're slightly over leveled, is when they're most fun. Yeah, that's true. That's fair. Because then you can just do them. Yeah. The current objective is to return to Phoenix. It will be your turn whenever you're in the next thing, right. so here you go. Let's I'm actually going to go get another soda for let's myself. Do this shit. I always find it weird that it has you flying to the center of the galaxy. <laughs> It's like, yep, that's where everything is. It was the biggest Tyranoid you've ever seen. <laughs> Big as a Star Cruiser and packing twice as much firepower. There was, it was no just escape. an oversized he was right slug, at me. dude. Closer, closer. Oh, what am I gonna do, right? Closer, even closer. Click, click. My blaster jam. <laughs> no way. What happened to Yeah, next? no way. Your blaster didn't jam, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's just playing up the story. Because he wants to get some. Jeez, you look terrible when you're Caesar. Yeah. It makes the polygons just look worse. True, sir, but you'd have done the fashion world an enormous service. And as for you, Agent Clank, I have far grander plans for you. He's just like, how dare a synth turn against his own kind? Alright, Lawrence, you can turn it off now. Oh, may I, sir? What a treat. <laughs> Come in. Also, how did they kind of like hack into the ship? Onto the ship. We need Fuck to know up. where the signal came from. Let's see. Back tracing the signal. Six path alpha key encryption. Amateurs. Oh, yes. I got it. It came from a facility on planet Dax. Accessing their computer files. Computer jargon. I found something suspicious. I guess the plot of Deadlock doesn't actually matter. Tonight, we take a journey inside the enigmatic mind of our galaxy's foremost evil genius, well, we see Sumner Nefarious. <laughs> we'll take a tour of this sacred <laughs> so facility on planet Dax, home to some of the galaxy's most insidious super weapons, including the dreaded Rainbow Afrolyzer. Dr. Nefarious, <laughs> we've all enjoyed your past work. But how do you respond to critics who say your latest galactic schemes are just more of the same? I you know we're going to get that thing. Annihilate them! <laughs> Lawrence, you know we're going to get that stupid this rainbow top secret super weapon thing. being constructed on planet oh. Dax. Well, I mean, they mentioned it. Of course, it's got to be a thing. That matter, I guess there's right always stupid weapons it. in this. We do, however, have a lovely view of the ocean. I mean, the the is the Dr. Nefarious game. poised on the brink of suck. galactic domination? Or is this super weapon just the latest in a series of maniacal and in pipe the second dreams? Game, we got a weapon Stay that tuned for more from Supervillain Weekly. Yeah. Whatever Nefarious is doing on Dax, it can't be good. We'll check it out. You're welcome. Shut up. I'm pretty sure there's one that turns people into little ducklings in this one. Nice. And I say that because the uh, preview image for the game, if you remember, had ducklings in it. So. Uh, I don't remember. If you, I can't I, do I it. I clearly blocked it out of my mind. Yeah, I can't do it because um, it'll crash the recording. But if you go to the PlayStation menu, don't do it. 
Well, I, I know. <laughs> you will see uh, the preview thing. Actually, it's that we thing were on hoping we could just pick up the gadgets and split. We have a spaceship to catch. Ha! You snackers are always looking for the easy way out. Then you can pass the course, you can have the device. Or you could just give us the device since we're doing all also, the fucking work. Also, why are we... Did we just get absorbed into this room? I thought we were just heading out. I don't know, but apparently we need some device which requires us to do this room. Uh, I, they wouldn't have taken us aside if they didn't want us to. The speed round? Wait, what's the first thing saying? VR gadget training? I think that's the thing we're supposed to do. Those platforms can be activated with the hypershot. Oh shit, I think they combined the, the grappling hook and the uh, other thing into one. It's gonna be on the next page. Press R2. Maybe. Oh, whoops. Okay, so I just. <laughs> and then I. Yeah, I just hit the sweet foot. I forgot how to play this game. <laughs> the green object is a thing. Oh yeah, they they included the grappling hook and the uh, and the Hacker thing that activates stuff in the security same terminal. But that's just good. stand near a terminal and press triangle to hack in. Right. And the hacker is just automatic contextual. That's good too. Which is good. The grappling hook should also be automatic contextual, but they don't do that until the future series, I think. The blue defenses are indestructible. Collect the green code snippets. Okay. Okay. I, I don't understand, but... What is happening? You have to destroy the red shit and collect the green shit. Oh, okay. This is dumb. Yes, this is actually dumb. But whatever. It's not super hard. Yeah, but it's really long. Yeah, I was expecting this to t be like over already. Me too. Welcome to Pointless Minigames. That was a really long hacking minigame. Yeah. I certainly hope they're not always like that. I'm... If it was this long in the tutorial, it's gonna be this long for the rest of it. I don't like that you're right, but you are. Shut up, Olga. <laughs> Hey, you seem to have found a pretty good strat, though. <laughs> okay, now I'm just fucking up. Get the other thing before it runs out. Oh, never mind. You did it anyway. No way. <laughs> Fuck you. Stage two of two. There is no fucking way. They expect <laughs> us to do this shit. <laughs> Hey, collect the thing. You only need two more. Yeah, but I'm also going to get Yeah, but there was two on the screen. You could have instantly won. Okay, there we go. <laughs> what? They can post it. Um, I fucking hate iFunny. I fucking hate the fact that I'm going into the comments section and I see shit like this and I just know the context. It pisses me off. And it was this <laughs> You promise. <laughs> oh, and I guess I died because of that. Sorry. You man, you have to do it over now. Fuck. That's it. You're doing this. <laughs> Fine. You can do whatever's next. Let me just read whatever this fucking You're the one who made me Twitter die. post is. Alright, here we go. 
that was not the right button. Oh, right, this is a hold. Oh, good, the hacking thing is already done. Oh, thank the Lord. <laughs> yeah, fuck that, dude. The platforming stuff? Fine, whatever. The hacking? No. Yeah, that's a that's a no for me, dog. I could not have been faster. I'm pretty sure I am on track for speed one run world record of this. It reminds me of my boss from McDonald's. Ugh, McDonald's. <laughs> she she would she admitted to my face that she yelled at us to go faster no matter how fast we were. Well then what's the fucking point? I guess. Exactly. That was risky, and I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, hmm, you sure you know what you're doing? Alright, I gotta deal with the next hacking section. Alright, what am I doing? Fire cannon. Tractor beam is this. Okay. Oops. It's just a little bit too floaty. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it sort of stays in one place enough. It also, like, I tap it for, like, one second, and it goes two things over. Yeah. There we go. Please tell me it's only two stages and not three. It's three stages. <laughs> why would you- why would you do this? <laughs> you were doing so well, Ratchet and Clank 3. Why'd you fuck it up? <laughs> no! I only pressed it once! Ah, fuck. Well, at least it doesn't make me go back to stage one. If they made you go back to stage one, this would be like the worst game ever. <laughs> yeah. So, Blake, you're a, um... You're a sort of, um... Software engineer, right? More or less. Is this what you do on a day-to-day -day basis? Oh yeah, in order, definitely. To, in order to hack definitely. people's computers? This is absolutely how you hack them here. Yeah. Actually, this is completely fake. Uh, the, uh, the colors are all wrong. Yeah. And that's what's got me messed up. We'll just take those gadgets and be on our way. You have to, you have to uh, use the tractor beam on the red ones. Clearly. Yeah, that's what's got me all fucked up. Here, take this back. <laughs> Alright. I did the dumb shit. Glad to know that there'll be this stupid shit in the future. <laughs> yeah. Why does every game have to have a hacking mini game? And, additional question, why does every game in a series always change what the hacking minigame is? Yeah, and why do they, why are they always shit? <laughs> like, What's none, the of, point? none of them are good. Yeah, we don't like any of these, why would we do it? Alright, do we have any bolts for anything else? Uh, you can check the shop. There's no new armor unlocks, but there's a... There's probably some new stuff. No, we don't. We don't have enough for anything. Except the suck. Except the suck cannon, which I think we all agreed we don't want. That's bad. Do not take that. It's, the it's bad. Rejects portable shields. It says cover. What? Yeah, it's bad. Don't buy it. What? It's actually a waste of money. What are you talking about? Did you just about buy the suck cannon? You just bought the suck cannon, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. I now have to deal with the suck cannon being on our weapon wheel. You just wanted to buy something. You didn't even care if it was good. It was cheap. <laughs> what if we need it in the future, Blake? For what? To what? suck. <laughs> then we will suck, Jacob. Yeah. 
Drax. The planet was invisible. Al here. The Dax facility has two high security computer terminals. My information indicates that one of them is somewhere out in the island. The other one is inside the main building. Alright, so we have to explore the islands out here in order to to find one security terminal. Okay, so they're just on the uh, they're just these two question marks. Yeah, there's just two paths basically. It looks like I don't know what we're doing in this game. Yeah, we have to find a way to get over to there. Oh, there's a gravity. <laughs> That's easy. So it certainly does. It certainly does. know you're going to die. <laughs> that shit always kills you. It just you. magnetized me to the wrong terminal. Yeah. All right. So there's two paths, I guess. Just like the old games. Ah, uh, yes. The good old, you have to do this mandatory tutorial before you get back. Mm. Not like there was any way we could have found out how to do the other half of the games just by playing them. We basically did anyway, though. Yeah, and that's the joke. We just straight up did. <laughs> the mandatory tutorial was just us using the device. Yeah. We already would. Yeah. There was no. There was no need. <laughs> it's so dumb. Dumbtown, USA. Population this game. Whoa! What the hell? No. Don't do that. The dumb thing is, if you give me an optional tutorial, I'll usually do it anyway. Yeah, but if you make, but if it, you make it a mandatory tutorial, I'm just gonna bitch about it. Yeah. At least they consolidated it this time. So instead of having a bunch of stupid gadgets, you have one stupid gadget. Yeah. Why did it not work those two times? I don't know. I saw you press the button. It did not make any sense to me. I'm kind of glad about this because now they have, like, basically the dynamo, but it's less stupid. Yeah, because it just was the same as the grapple. Yeah. Rather than having to, rather than being required to switch back and forth. The Dynamo and was easily one of the worst decisions of Ratchet and Clank 2. <laughs> because yeah. it was just a stupid weapon that didn't add anything to the game. Yeah. yeah. Other than pressing the fire button occasionally in between your platforming sections. It's a cool idea, I guess. But it's not worth a fucking slot. No, it never is. It never was. And you only and have eight slots. Yeah. Kind of ass. Right. Where's nothing left? Mm -hmm. This teleporter pad that probably just goes back to where you started. It and is. It, it just, just says to return. Ah, I didn't see you actually read it. So. What are you doing? I was trying to get to the weapon wheel and press the button. Ah. I I forgot to buy ammo because I'm screwed. Oof. Well, you got your favorite gun. Yep. Sorry, we got. This. Might not be good for boss, but might not be good. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good when you're like rushing through a crowd. Then. Yeah, it's good for crowd. Did it just stop you from falling off? I think it did. Huh. Interesting. Don't use the infector on the boss, it doesn't work. I... This will just also change the range to work. You might be able to get the magma gun to work, but it, even that's kind of meh. 
You're gonna need to buy it. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, that means you're going to die. does have a real problem with uh, bosses that need to be hit at range and giving you weapons that don't hit at range. Well, if they gave me some, like, ammo packs, then this would be good. Yeah. <laughs> the lava gun is so dumb. It is. Just look at the way it fucking fires. It just makes a line everywhere. You can't aim it. You cannot control it at all. It just makes a line where it feels like. And you just kind of hope that the enemy gets hit by it. Hey. Wait, why weren't we just using this to begin with? It's the best thing. I thought it said, it said that it was out of that. Huh. Or maybe that was the XP one. You were probably looking at the XP one. That would make sense. Still using circle. R one is better. I am. I am smart. Stop! Stop aiming to jump. But honestly, there's not much to do about that. <laughs> we'll jump mean, on L one. I mean, even then, you can sort of switch. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, this thing's just a bullet sponge. Yeah, that's why I was really upset that I was thinking that I was going to lose, just because I didn't have enough ammo. Yeah. Uh, now you're just being a twin. <laughs> yeah, just warping around just for the fuck of it. You know, you're not going to kill us. Now you're just trying to make it really annoying to kill you. So if I can't kill you, I'm going to make sure this fight is as miserable as possible. <laughs> That's how you do it. Alright. Congratulations, Patrick. We saved the city. <laughs> Back to the dynamo. Ah, uh, yes. The platforming gun. Yeah. Can't wait till they phase that out. Do they eventually phase that out? Yes. Check it out. Cool. Looks like somebody's a big fan of Courtney Gears. Courtney, Courtney Gears. Gears. Remember that bomb? Yeah, she was in the last game, wasn't she? Annihilation no, she was earlier in this game. Yes. Sorry. Her specifications were remarkable. Specifications. Well, she's not the hottest yeah. pop star in the galaxy because of her singing. That is odd. Oof. It was this game this made was recently used during the time when Britney Spears videos. was popular? Oh, let's watch it. Probably. I, I mean, you know, it may contain a clue or... When was this game made? The early thousands? Probably. <laughs> yeah, what's up, people? It's Courtney Gears. Are you feeling me, robot? I'm feeling you. Huh. I see the future, and what do I see? Robots going crazy across the galaxy. galaxy. Yeah, th 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 this is just fan service. Like, the time is now. We're robots, robots must be free. The lyrics are actually all over the plot, stupidly. I say that because I know the plot of this game. This goes out to all you robots across the galaxy. It's time for you and me to rise up and strike back. Don't stop until we dominate. Won't you agree? <laughs> Britney Spears wants to lead a cultural revolution. <laughs> yeah. 2004. 
What was the release of this game? Okay, so that was probably Miss when Gears she was, maybe in league she was probably on the out at that point. I think. Yeah, yeah, who knew? She always seemed so sweet and innocent. No, no, she was bigger then. Well, yeah, she, was, that she wasn't on the out. She wasn't on the out till. You know what I mean? <laughs> What the fuck are you doing, Ratchet? I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. Right. And if we win that grand prize on Annihilation Nation, we'll get another chance to talk to her. Oh, yeah. Someone had to animate that. Yes. Ratchet fucking throwing it back. Uh, yeah. This is a thing. This was prior to the use of the word Ratchet to mean what it means, I think. This was long before that. Yeah, when did that start? 2010s? Sometime 2010s, it has to be. Uh, I can't keep myself up to get that <laughs> bolt. <laughs> <laughs> there was such pain in your desire to fucking kill yourself for a bolt. <laughs> I would have fucking done it too. Let's fucking do it. You just. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing this. The lifts. <laughs> you know how would how is this worse than the lifts? It is not. I mean, no, it, I because mean, it's it's, not... it's one continuous scene. The lifts was several. It cuts. was several cuts that served zero purpose because it was just indicating where you were going. It's not much better than the lifts either. What? How was I supposed? To... I have no clue, man. I'm, also, you're I'm, back here now. I'm confused. I think the game just said, don't try. <laughs> well, I'm gonna try. <laughs> Fuck you, game. Don't tell me what I can't do. I'll literally beat your ass. Yeah. I think I just need to get, uh, more lift. Can you double jump, uh, after a swing? I think so. Because I think that might be what you're supposed to do. So don't double jump before it. Make sure you only jump once, or don't jump at all. Uh, so maybe I need to swing, drift, and then... Do why did you stop drifting? Because I had to shoot the shot. Did you press circle to shoot the shot? Yes. Then you didn't probably have to stop drifting. I keep pressing circle to shoot. Yes! <laughs> I've noticed. I can't unlearn that very easily, it seems. I unlearned it very easily because it makes no sense to me. So, I just very quickly adapted to, yes, this is how it should have been from the beginning. <laughs> there you go. That makes sense. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. I don't know why that's stuck in my head all of a sudden. I find it weird that he just spins the bolt for an uncomfortably long period of time. <laughs> yeah, I think we pointed that out in the last game. I think I, I, I edited it in, um... You just redoing it three times in a row? Yeah, and I also edited in Revolver Ocelot to it, twirling his guns yep. for an excessively long amount of time. Because <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. Okay. Yeah. Let's Other there. path now. Yeah, and then we get to talk to Courtney Gears after this one, I guess. But first. But first! Literally, but first. Oh no. Is that how we're gonna talk to Courtney Gears? Yes. I don't know what to think of that. Mostly because I cannot and do not wish to discern what the hell that means. So like, is it her butt first? Or maybe Ratchet's talking to his butt. Or is Ratchet talking to his butt? Or is he letting his butt do his speaking? We'll, we'll figure it out once we get there. <laughs> okay. We have time to plan out what we're doing. <laughs> and yet, we probably won't. 
We'll have to see based on the context of what the fuck we're seeing when we get there. There are a lot of weapon upgrades. The shock cannon can be charged up to release a spectacular oh. beam of death. Hold the fire button to charge up the beam. Then release the button and sweep the beam across your enemies. Okay, so I can just hold it up for a charge shot. Cool. Like, uh, uh... I don't know. Oh, uh, sort of Mega Man. Yeah, I guess. Does that consume multiple ammo? I guess we'll have to see next time. Yeah, I, I seriously wasn't. Neither was I. I thought of it right as I looked at the top of the screen and it said zero, and I went, oh. <laughs> guess I'll never know. So, this is nitroglycerin we're shooting at then, right? I guess. It's called because a it's nitro. A nitro I'm assuming it's nitroglycerin. Yes, yes you are. <laughs> the whip is good in very specific circumstances. This is not one of those circumstances. I mean, Nancy is good in every circumstance. Because they just do the work for you. Mm -hmm. I will set the NPCs after showing you. <laughs> they even shot the ammo crate for you. Yeah. I noticed. I they did not shoot the health crate for you. And you do need health, you are at 7. Where's the health grade? Right side. Oh wait, maybe it wasn't a health grade. Never mind, I didn't see a health grade. It was, there's an explosive crate in that outfit in the way, but it's not there. I knew I saw something that they didn't shoot. It was just an explosive crate though. Which is something that they can't really shoot out of the they could. Wouldn't do anything. That's true. Neither would shooting your health shooting a health crate, to be honest. So. Is there anything over here? <laughs> What's our battle plan here? Um, what's our strategy? Wrench everything to death. That sounds mean. What's our battle strategy for Courtney Gears? I see what you're doing. I don't think I don't. <laughs> A lot of gun. Silly string time. Silly string of death. <laughs> that actually. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, okay. Flip, I see how it is. Flip to win. Yep. Spin to win, but on a different axis. Alright, I'll keep that in mind for later. <laughs> What's that? In case we're just... The lava gun? Yeah. The fact that kind of works. Yeah, it somehow worked. Yeah. And that's why you always flip in this game. I mean, there's more than one reason, but that's one of them. Clearly the lava gun is teaching us the new paradigm. Yeah. That is absolutely the way you play this game. Uh-oh. Why are we playing 3D, or, uh, circular space invaders? I don't know, man. <laughs> because the game told us to, there's really no other reason. Yeah. Also, the blue ones are just there to waste your time. Correct. <laughs> you, don't, you don't even have to do anything to them. <laughs> They're just there. Also, I'm very upset that they no longer show a progress bar. 
I think they do it. Use of right. the office computer network for online yeah, gaming is strictly prohibited. What do you mean? Progress bar for what? For the hacking? Yeah. Oh, there's a. It's based on how many green things you get. I know it is, but I don't. And it's always I ten. I, I, and it, it is it is tracking them on the screen somewhere. It says get, number out of ten. Uh, what, I know that there was a green bar. Huh. I didn't notice it. Or rather, I didn't notice that it was green. That's why I was looking for a green bar and you didn't see a green bar. Ah. That sucks. <laughs> but I could do something fancy here, but I ended up looking like a chump. <laughs> the game was like, look cool in our game? No, no chance. Yeah. Even though that's ostensibly what this game is trying to sell you. Yeah, just the cool factor, right? Yeah. What's with these, like, tape recorder computers over here? Yeah, what's that all about? Are we in the future or some shit? I mean, the thing is, the future looks different depending on what present this was, a particular media was made. Yeah, but this game was not made in the era when we had recorder-ass tape. Those were phased out in, like, the 80s. What's this that? is true. Like, those should have been tape, long gone. Tape recorders actually were still around in the 90s, believe it or not. Yeah, but they used to have uh, computers on tape. That stopped happening a long time ago. Yeah, that's true. You're right, though. Tape recorders did exist in the 90s and even the early 2000s because I had uh, one of those personal memo tape recorders mm -hmm. that I used to just play around with as a kid. That's a strap. I don't even have time to grab the thing. I mean, you stopped on them and then looked at them for a second. You could have picked them then. <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah, one of those red ones was getting real close. Hello, boys. Just the hacking shit. All units terminate with extreme pressure. What does that even mean? Extreme pressure just in that context. I don't know. You gotta be racist in order to <laughs> kill them. <laughs> right. That's what I always thought, because, like, that's kind of that was the meaning of that word, but, like, that can't be They just, like, do it very aggressively, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Also, they're totally not getting it. Seems like a weird use of the word. Yeah, I've noticed that, too. Also, that guy instant killed you. Wow. And it kicks me right the fuck back. <laughs> like, that was a lot of progress I just got sent back. Yeah, it really was. I think all the hacking's already done. Also, I forgot to fly the ammo. I was wondering why you jumped off the instant you got to stop. Can you move all of it? Yeah. Okay. The lifts. Maybe she just run past me. Like, you did mention you just made a lot of progress. Maybe these dudes just aren't working back. Okay. Maybe they are, because we did it later. Yeah. Fuck you, boy. Now, um, now I have no choice but to keep going. Oh, and uh, you can't see this thing. Oh yeah, the charge shot feel, feels like 10 normal shots. In ammo? Yeah, watch this. Jeez. Oh. 
up. That's not worth it. No, it's really not. Huh. Well, maybe, maybe that's why we got zeroed out on ammo Must be. You use the charge shot like you. I'm not trying to test it out. saying this and I keep denying you every time. <laughs> I thought I could do it, but this game's like, nope, not, gonna, not a chance. But, like, <laughs> I tried to jump left, but it made me go left. I see you thinking. <laughs> I see you thinking about it. <laughs> Too bad we're probably never gonna get the diamond. No, anything. because it requires ground and we just refuse to do it. Yeah. I might do it in the last game. Or in track of time. Track of time. Because. Because I, I guess we gotta get it at least once. Yeah. For the memes. For the memes. It's like, it's a must have for the Ratchet Clank. Stay tuned and see which game we decide to get it in. Because it's probably not going to be this one. It's not this one. It's probably cracking time. It's actually harder to get in the late games. <laughs> it gets harder and harder to get as the games go on. But it also gets better and better as the games go on. That's great. Yeah. It's going to be a real pain to get it in any game after the first one, to be honest. Well, even in the first one, that cost a lot compared yeah. to what we were getting. There's a whole side quest you have to do in the later games to get it. Uh, yeah. No, I wasn't kidding. It gets harder. It gets to be more and more of a nuisance to get it. Just collectibles in uh, Tools of Destruction in order to get it. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to... Honestly, I'll just end up Googling it, you know? Yeah. Alright, where are all these collectibles? Okay, cool. Now we can play the game. <laughs> Because I don't think there's a lot of stuff we have to Google to get through this game in general. But I am not looking for all those like cooperation. Yeah, no, that that makes sense. <laughs> that I will just let out. There'll still be an impressive pain. Even if I know where they are, just to get them. There we go. That was well done. That was the guy you killed with the lava blaster the first time, yes. wasn't it? <laughs> yes, it was. Yes. Yes, it was. Also, that just... thing nearly killed you just by bumping into you. Wait, what? The, the guy that bumped into you while you were swinging. Oh, really? Yeah, he could have fucking killed you if he hit you. Security breach in 75. Like, instantly. Like, instantly killed you. 
Okay, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> I, I always try it and I always get absolutely punished. <laughs> I don't know why you would. Because it's cool. I guess. The whip can be good for um, mobs of enemies, as well as big guys who don't have a counter to getting hit. I suppose. Those gun guys. Because whenever you hit them, they yeah. just smack you back. Yeah. So it's just like, pff, why the fuck are you trying to melee me, bitch? Get out. Yeah, they have a direct counter. It makes not a lot of sense. Yeah. I mean, I guess, what are you gonna do if he walks up to you and starts whipping you with a laser whip? You're gonna fucking bash him in the head. Well, yeah, but you might not have enough time. You might just, like, gank you. If he just quickly, like, assaults you with that shit. Yes. <laughs> Lot of time. Chaos reigns. <laughs> the chaos reigns. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, this is when you die. Isn't it? All units terminate with extreme prejudice. <laughs> wow. That's just absurd looking. It just works. Hey, there's a Inferno box up there. Maybe oh, save yeah. that for when you uh, get to the second wave. I'll keep it in mind like, right now. Okay, there you go. Now you've got extra armor and attack power. You can just whack the shit out of people. Now, there's now you can melee. That's where my melee went. There you go. So they save they save the melee sections for specific points when you have a box. Yeah. I forgot those things existed. Those inferno things. Yeah, I did too. Also, they were pretty forgettable. Yeah, we haven't had one in a while, so it's like okay. Whoa, look at that. There you go. Hey. Very nice, very nice. That still fuck happens, I think. Just because I'm good at them doesn't mean that the <laughs> sections are good. okay. Yeah. Bottom, bottom, or top. Oh, I was so close. You needed 15 for that one. And it told me to exit, so I have to go all the way back if it's not the two. It board. told you to exit? Yeah. It didn't make you go back before. I guess Maybe. that was the tutorial. Yep. Jeez, okay. Or was the first one harder this time? It did noticeably seem harder. I did almost lose. Oh! <laughs> Just quickly grabbed it. Yeah, that was very good. Just like, fuck it. Rapid fire. Just get it. <laughs> now that was cool. Yeah, that was actually okay. That was satisfying. Okay. Oh, you only needed one more that old time. <laughs> well, way to waste my time. This terminal should give us high level access I mean, to all of the That's hacking into the games in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. A way to waste your time. <laughs> I mean, can you, I'm can afraid you it does think of any hacking in the games that doesn't feel like a waste of time? Huh. Um, um, no. What exactly does it do? That I refuse. Has been <laughs> I cannot. 
They deleted the information off of their hard drives. Location unknown. However, a what large Death Star? vessel left this facility I guess they're yesterday. making a fucking Death Star. It was headed for the Obani <laughs> Moon okay. system. The Obani Moon. That's no moon. <laughs> well, we better check it out. <laughs> it's Ben Swallow. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's such an old meme. <laughs> Uh, Bringing him back for spoop throwing. Ben Swallow. All right. That's like two movies old now. Correct. <laughs> Alright, we're getting off this dump. Which is two years because. Yeah. Huh. Disney. Hey, hey, what's up? Hi, Skid. Can we talk well, to Sasha? Well, uh, Skid, oh, they made Star Wars what? 9. Uh, I mean, was that I last year? Uh, well, is that yeah, I think so. He's out to lunch. Yeah, Helga? Eight was the year before, or was it two years before that? Well, no, I think it was, I think it was one and one. Uh, maybe maybe uh, Solo was in the middle. Moons. In the middle of Sounds like you guys could use some backup. Right? I'm pretty sure Solo was in the middle of those. I don't know, no, no. Okay. Great. So, maybe it was two year gap between those two. Alright. And then there was Solo. My turn? Yep. It's your turn to do the shit now. Okay, repair the satellite. Uh, I've laser. done my oh, part. Oh no. No. Why this one? Why? Why do I have to do this mission? <sighs> Do not want. I could use a snack, but I have no snacks. Hmm. At all. Those trigger cookies were pretty good the other day. They were. I, for some reason, I'm the only person in my family that likes that shit. I don't care why people don't like this. Yeah, like, some pe a lot of people have really polarized opinions about them sugar cookies, man. Yeah. I don't know why you wouldn't. They're really sweet and... Yeah, I just don't get it. Yeah, what is this? Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, shit. Ooh. Why am I here? Just to suffer. <laughs> what is this philosophy lesson? <laughs> it's, uh. Metal Gear. Why are we here? Just to suffer. Uh, okay, so. That going up there is going up there. So I have to lead it from here to somewhere. To one of the satellites? That's what I thought, but when I aimed it at it, it didn't do shit. Oh, okay. Now it does do shit. Alright, I see how it is. Okay. It's one of these missions again. It's Mario Galaxy again. <laughs> Galaxy before Galaxy was cool. Yeah. Hey, you. Get the fuck out of here. Zap. I see you. Zap! Zap! <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Well, of course, that sent me nowhere. If that sent you into the wall, I would have laughed. <laughs> I, no, I would have laughed and you would have cried. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I'm actually steering it, so it would have been my fault. <laughs> it still would have sucked. Knows where this... I was just expecting it to give me enough launch to actually get to my destination, but it didn't. Who knows where this whole tree is? Here. This sounds like fall damage. Yeah. So I can just kind of fucking lunar jump for a mile. Yep. Oh god, why? Why did you do Mario Galaxy? Ah, uh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. Where am I and why? You only took one game. Why did I... Why is this here? Is this to waste my time? Mm -hmm. Just because Seems... you knew I would fall in the pit? So they made like a complicated trip to get it. Also, my camera keeps turning on its own for some reason. And that's what fucked me last time. Is... Oh, I do think I'm gonna fight you. You've got another thing coming. <laughs> Pacifist, but not because he's uh, objecting to fighting. No, it's just he's too late. Yeah. Steer an obnoxious thing, and I don't want to switch weapons because I have to have this thing out. Mm. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it. 
they're just they're continuing to come after me too. Yeah, I'm just like nah. No. There's so many of them now. They're just fucking following me. <laughs> What's this? Is this the thing I activate? This might be important. I might actually have to do this part. Oh. Oops. All right. I forgot that you could switch between your previous guns. Is this a thing? This is literally do nothing. Did I come down here for no fucking reason again? Wow. They literally had a terminal that does nothing. Just to fuck me up. It's me specifically. Not the, not the player. Me. This was a personal attack. Where am I going? What are you gonna do about this book? I don't are you know. gonna take this shit lying down? No. Because I'm sitting. <laughs> I'm gonna take this shit sitting. I have no idea where I'm going now. I completely lost. Oh my god. Bum, oh! I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where these things lead. Is that the last one that I did? It must be. I don't know. So I have to get up there. Yeah, that's the last one. And then so you link it back to this side right here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now what? Now I go here, I guess, because I opened this area up. And do what? I don't know. Teleport back to the ship? Teleport to that thing. No. It's where we are. I don't know, but it's another spherical planet. <laughs> it is the fucking Death Star. I'm on the Death Star. It's the Death Star, but like not because copyright infringement. <laughs> but we all know it's the Death Star. It's the Death Star. <laughs> it's the Dank Star. It's not. This is very not Dank. <laughs> it's the Meth Star. What? This. This is the. It's not the Death Star. It's the Meth Star. Because um, it's just this kind of death star. And it ain't that, it's not a bunch, it's something else. Okay, you know what? Fighting on a spear sucks, so you're gonna die. Oh, wait. The Earth is a spear. Does that mean that everyone has to die? It means that fighting sucks. Period. Alright. Uh, and all of that, as a whole, is evidence of the reason why these men have to die. Just these, these four dudes. No one else. Yeah. Just those four dudes. In the because game. fighting on a spear sucks. Don't tell the people at Dyson. At what? Dyson. Why? Oh, because of the fucking spear vacuum? Yeah. <laughs> That's such a weird <laughs> reference. No, clearly they they're planning on releasing a line of vacuums that you can use to bludgeon people to death. Oh yeah. Oh no! <laughs> this is worse than death. <laughs> so like, P Dyson, I, I I've got this on uh, good authority from Dyson mm -hmm. that their new that team. their newest line of vacuums are intended to double as like. Clubs to bludgeon intruders with to For home defense. Yeah, so it's like a combination of uh, home maintenance and home defense all in one. You don't need a gun, just get a vacuum. Yeah, and just fucking beat people to death. Why did I need this? Why have I done that? What's the point? Oh, did I shoot you? You're taking damage. However, fighting on the spear. Was going to be their. It was going to be Dyson's like main pitch. Oh my god! But clearly, fighting on the spear sucks. Well, isn't it supposed to suck? It is a vacuum. Well, yeah, but I that can be their that can be their pitch. Fighting but, on a spear sucks. Well, yeah, but people are clearly going to take it the wrong way. So I think I need yeah. to report that to Dyson. That they need to change up their model. Oh shit! Are you like a spy for Dyson? No, I'm just like uh, a product tester. Oh, um, for Dyson. Yeah. Here's mine. <laughs> you can think what you can. 
<laughs> I don't believe you. That's exactly what a spy would say. <laughs> Who am I spying on? <laughs> <laughs> Me, the internet. Like, what, what would I have to gain from spying on some random schmuck? <laughs> what, don't you think they, if I was a spy, that they would send me to, like, Bissell or something? My mm -hmm. mom uses that. You're spying at my so mom. So I'm, ga I'm gaining, like, user user data on yeah. your family? Yeah, but Is like... Is that what's going on? But, like, in a sketchy way, because you're a spy. Oh, yeah, secretly when I'm at home, <laughs> and when I say I'm playing Hades, I'm secretly just, like... Spying watching. on your mom. Yeah, you're watching. This joke went a really weird direction. You're watching the security cams you clearly planted in my house while I wasn't looking. <laughs> clearly. And then, I, I don't think there's any like doubt in that. That's just obvious. I feel like you did that. It's like on one hand, I'm playing the switch. On the other hand, I'm adjusting the security cams to watch your mom vacuuming. I'll take a chip. And eat it! <laughs> <laughs> how, how deep do you think this rabbit hole goes, Blake? <laughs> <laughs> However the fuck you want it to go, man. I can go all day. What is this shit? What am I doing here? What is my purpose? Just to suffer. Right. <laughs> You're right. Use the lava. You know you what? You can do it. <laughs> You're right. I don't think this is actually working. I think he's way too far away from this. Let what? Let chaos reign. <laughs> right as I say that, he fucking dies. Me, oh my god. Man down. It's all right, Skid. The fight's over. Yes. I mean, no, 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 man. I would have been here sooner, but I, uh, I encountered some heavy duty resistance. And his shoe was on top. Well, well, that explains the trip. Exactly. <laughs> the drive through the galaxy galaxy was wicked slow. And anyway, it looks like that last room <laughs> is surrounded by an Omega class disintegration. Can we get uh, the entirety of Weird Al's the drive through? Good. Thanks. That's no, a joke, I'm not editing that in. <laughs> no, put in like the first half second of it. Okay, first half second, I'm fine with that. Uh, maybe, if I remember to edit this. Where's, what's the fucking time code, Jacob? I don't know how to read your fucking shit. Where is it on the audio? One, one hour and 38 minutes. One Oh yeah, Blackwater City. Wasn't that in like the first game? Yeah. So we do have some consistency in the universe, apparently. Sir, requesting immediate assistance. Which is gonna get thrown off of the like, Blackwater City. The Rangers need our help. Let's go. Uh, I'm like catch up with you guys. I think this lock is gonna take a while. Okay, He's give got us a, a fucking call if anything comes that's up. That's gonna take a long while. <laughs> so I guess this is just another one of those things that we're gonna come back to later. Must be. So I can't go in here, is that the case? Is that what he's talking about? He's got a crowbar and this is sealed with a, uh, bolt. Yeah. <laughs> if only we had a wrench for that. Hmm. A Alas. We are cursed to be ratchet. Alright, so. Shakespeare, but it's about ratchet. It looks like we can go either to Blackwater City or to Destruction, or Annihilation Nation, in order to advance the plot. I'll be honest, I was not paying attention to the plot, so. Um, well, it's your turn, so I guess you get to choose. Um, I know what I want you to choose, but it would be rude of me to say it. I'm make, just going it would be rude of you to, ma to me to make you do it. I'm just going to Blackwater City. That's what I wanted you to choose. Because I don't want to. I want to deal with Annihilation Nation. <laughs> Annihilation Nation is fun. It's just all combat and there's no mm. think. <laughs> you just do it. And I don't want to deal with the crowd laughing at me. <laughs> is that really your reasoning? Yes. <laughs> Fair enough. Plus, I'm pretty sure uh, there's a boss fight on Annihilation Nation that I kind of want to do. Well, well, I might end up regretting saying that, but we'll see. 
Oh, no red shirts this time. Here we go, boys. Oh, fuck no. Oh, are we glad to see you, Sarge? In order to get ready for a major attack against our base. What's your favorite horror game? Uh, I don't really play horror games. That's why I chose that specifically to ask you. I, well, I don't play them, so why would I be a good candidate? <laughs> I can't answer that question, because I don't play them. Yes, but this discussion is way longer than if I asked you a more reasonable question. Alright, well, I guess, um, well, shit. You don't, you don't have to play it. Maybe, like, watch someone play it? I mean, I watched some... I watched you guys play a little bit of Resident Evil 6, so that's something I suppose. Yeah. So I guess I gotta I gotta say that. <laughs> Fair enough. I enjoyed that game. Um, but Jaren did most of the work. Okay, so that charge thing still works even if I have less than 10 ammo. So you want to you want to use your last ammo to do that? Yeah. To get the most mileage out of it. So I guess that's better than. You know, I wonder if I it actually affects the damage. I. They probably did not think that good. Um. And I just exploded everybody around me. Nice. Man, except, I wish I had the power to explode everybody around me. <laughs> Not at this moment, just in general. That's it. We're bringing out Old Faithful. No! <laughs> <laughs> Let chaos reign. You went right from this is useless to this is the greatest thing ever in like five seconds, and I love that. <laughs> Can you blame me, though? You can't aim it, though. That's the thing. So you it's don't just, have you just, to. It, you just do it. You don't have to aim it. That's the beauty. You of just it. use it and jump around and hope it works. And usually it does. The thing is, it works really damn well though. Because like, it's hard to hit with, but it does deal decent damage. All right, we're out. So of it's kind of worth it. Old faithful is on. Oh no. We're host now. Where will all the tourists go now? Um. Fucking, you know, you're gonna get tossed into the caldera of the super bomb the Yellowstone. <laughs> oh no! Jeez. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. That's okay, it's better than any answer I was, I was thinking. I was thinking of normal shit. Like, I don't know, Mount Rushmore. As opposed to getting sacrificed to the fucking fire god. Yeah, I think that does not qualify as normal shit. Uh, I mean, maybe if you're like the Aztecs. Maybe. If you had to be sacrificed to a god, Jacob, which one would you choose? Uh, Dionysus. That's fair. You know, that's a good choice. I, I, I neglected to consider that you are playing Hades currently, and therefore have a lot of knowledge of gods and can adequately answer this absurd question. I just picked the most absurd god to be sacrificed to. <laughs> He wouldn't even want to sacrifice. He's just like, what the fuck is this? And if you're like <laughs> sacrificed to him and he like gets your soul, he's gonna be like, hey man, sorry, have some wine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like, yeah, yeah. That's what that's that's what that's all about. Uh, yeah. What what am I doing? I I thought I had done a good thing by coming up with an absurd question, and you just found an actually good answer to it. <laughs> I'm surprised. I think you defeated me. You won. All right, I'll, I'll take this one victory for the night. <laughs> yeah, if I'm a boss battle, that's what you have to do to beat me. I just I just pose a completely ridiculous question, and you have to have a legitimate answer to it very quickly, or you die. <laughs> All right, that's my boss battle. What's your boss battle, Jacob? Um. Let's see, my boss battle is that you have to uh, somehow uh, convince me to give up hope uh, for humanity within 30 seconds. Oh, that's going to be hard considering all the shit you've seen. <laughs> then again, I don't know how much hope for humanity you still have. Uh, uh, that's the question, isn't it? <laughs> that is a question. I, I think I'd probably be like one of those late game bosses. Mm, yeah. 
that's like, oh. Yeah. So you've got enough hope for humanity that it's difficult to make you give it up. I'd say so. But that said, it's not it's not impossible. It's not impossible, yeah. I, I know I have my limits. There's definitely some shit there. I like how they just ban you from going in that direction. It's like, no, don't fight them on their own terms. Yeah. I kind of want to pose that question to the group chat now and see what they say. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? I got 20,000 It's gonna, It's going to require way too much context and explanation to explain. I think you do have to do this. I guess we're doing the fuck missions, bro. So that question is going to require too much context to get the, to the type of answer I'm actually looking for. So I'm not going to pose it to the group chat. Um, this is a test of who's my real friend. Um, that you watch this video and send me the answer to this question. Take it if you don't count because you are already here. I, and I already answered. Yeah, you already gave an answer. You're in the clear. Point blank love. <laughs> Melee is back on the menu, boys. Would you rather drink lava or acid? Um, They're probably both going to kill you. I'd say lava simply because it'll kill me faster. Fair enough. Can I kill these turrets? Yes. They Can glow you acid? red. Can you drink a base fast enough to counter it? I don't know. Only <laughs> if it's on hand. Like... Still. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. I'm good. Finally a good excuse to drink bleach. <laughs> is, drink, is bleach a base? I think so, yeah. That would explain it. I believe it. It seems like something that would be basic. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to Ratchet and Clank. Don't worry, I'll just pose as one of their own in order <laughs> to make them not shoot me. Nice. Good strap. I wonder if that would work. I doubt it. There's some weird shit programmed into these games, but I doubt they thought that. Clearly the terror guys is just a context thing that they never go to do. Yeah. And if they do, it's going to be in one really specific setting. There is... Okay, this is kind of a spoiler, but also kind of not, because it has nothing to do with the story. There is, in the game, in the later games, a glove that you get, where you throw a disco ball out, and it makes everyone around you dance. Oh yeah, I think I saw somebody yeah. use one of those fucking disco balls, and I'm like, dude, what game is this? Yeah. Um, and, sh and, sh and where can I get it? <laughs> yeah, lo and behold, it's this series. Yeah, this must have been years ago because back when this game was like really relevant. Yeah. When I saw somebody play. So, um anyway, but they actually have like fucking dance animations programmed for every enemy in the wow. game. Wow. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> so yeah, that's a thing. Which is why I would not be surprised if they had like some crazy programming where like they stop attacking you or something. <laughs> Because that's like, that's a weird amount of like, I want to say yeah. attention to detail, but it's not even a detail, it's just like, yes, you have made this weapon a thing. Yeah. Good luck programming all the dance animations. Yeah. You and they chose to do that! Like, this is the, this is the hill that you have chosen to die on. <laughs> now perish. <laughs> <laughs> that's way too raw of a line. <laughs> for this context. <laughs> This is the hill you've chosen to die on. No. How perish. Can we get an animation of Jake talking to the animators of this game? Thanks. I'm probably not going to do that. Because that would take a lot of work. Like, this is the this is the hill that you have chosen to die on. Now perish. If this video doesn't come out for like two weeks, you know why. Just have like this one shitty still image of you like drawing this in. <coughs> All right. Well, I guess I'm I guess I'm done in Blackwater City. One fifty, just in case I decide to do it. All right, it's time for you to. What go. was the last editing joke we made? Um, uh, it was at one thirty-eight. I think. Yeah, it was at one thirty-eight. Fuck it. Go meet Britney Spears. Yeah, okay. 
meet with Courtney Gears. I like how the, the preview image has a a heart shape behind it. Because she's just Britney Spears. Yeah. Also, I sounded like the Except Burger King foot this guy for a second. <laughs> Go meet with Britney Spears. Burger King foot lettuce. <laughs> I hate that fucking meme. I'm it's glad so that bad. I mostly missed that meme when it was popular. <laughs> How? How did you miss that? I, I have no idea. I know that it exists, but like, I, it was a long time before I saw it. The meme in its original context. Fair enough. It's kind of the same for me, but as soon as I did, I, I didn't see it till long after it was popular. But as soon as I saw it, I saw it fucking everywhere. Oh. Because I saw. And it was like not even in its original context. It was just it everywhere in every post. Hmm. It was like, God damn it, stop. I like Loss. Loss is still good. Simply because the point of loss is that it's overused. Yeah, you can find it anywhere. It's absurd. Yeah, and like that's that's kind of the point. Is that even though it's overused as shit, that's the point. Yeah. It only gets better the worse it gets. Yeah. Oh. Like, okay. Oh no, it's the tanks from the first game. Oh god, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of also, damage. Also, I thought I was here to meet Courtney Gears, not meet my dad. I don't know, maybe like I mean, if you die not. that Courtney Gears like drags your body out so you can <laughs> get two for the price of one. Yeah. You you get like one second as you're dying to meet Courtney Gears. Or maybe if you meet Courtney Gears she just fucking shanks you to death. <laughs> so you get both either way. Yeah, exactly. Also, I like how they made a Britney Spears that's literally just like a, a robot supremacist. <laughs> so yeah, they like, kind of did do that. So didn't it's like if Britney Spears was a fucking Nazi. <laughs> they kind of did do that, didn't they? It, th this is this is what it is. Am I am I barking up the wrong tree? They literally made Nazi Britney Spears. The thing is, I don't think that was their intention, but they absolutely <laughs> did. I think that like so. This is how I picture it going through their heads, right? Oh, guys, Britney Spears is big. Let's make a fucking reference to Britney Spears. Oh, that's cool. All right, we're writing the plot now, three weeks later. Hmm, what's the plot? Uh, Britney Spears is a robot supremacist for some reason. <laughs> this character we created that we forgot had anything to do with Britney Spears is now racist. Yeah, it's like, oh, we need Britney Spears. Also, the main plot is that robot supremacists are trying to take over the galaxy. Yeah. How do we, how do we connect the two? Yeah. Oh, clearly we need to make... Britney Spears a robot supremacist. I mean, they did name her Courtney Gears. I would wonder if they came up with the pun first, or the plot of the game first. I, yeah, that's, that's a tough one. I don't know. Because they're unrelated, but like, the fact that the pun exists leads to the fact that she is what she is in the plot. Maybe. I this highly... thing actually is legitimately dangerous. The last time we fought a brain in a in a thing, it was like nothing. Well, okay, I died the first time we fought that because we were fighting it at the part point in the game where it was actually still playing. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, look at this. This is absolutely It's the it's these fire things that are fucking me over mostly. Please give me more health or end. Fuck you. <laughs> and now we're going to deal you exactly 20 damage. Just the camera turns into a gun and shoots you. <laughs> Hope you had more than 20 health at the end, because that's exactly how much I fucking had. Yeah. Or if you play it wrong, she'll fucking shank you. Yeah. It is an honor for you to meet me. If you play I mean, this right, to meet you, to meet you, to meet you. Uh, Clank might get to sleep with her. Not oh Ratchet, though, because he's an idiot. You're even more gorgeous in person than you are on the hallway, Saw it coming. Clank. Uh, and not just because I already knew the plot, might need your special investigation. but also because it was pretty obvious. <laughs> yes, yeah. Man. I will report your concerns to the authorities. Oh, Agent Talk to Clank. Me. Clank. 
always know exactly what to say to a woman. You know, I do anything. Everyone's always into Clank, just inexplicably. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm not a Clank, but I don't see what people see in <laughs> Well, he is a movie star in this universe. This is true. You have been busy, haven't you? You just get me that part, and I'll tell you anything you want to know. Excellent. Meet me at Hollow Studios. The mouth Star animations Studios. are really awkward for Courtney. <laughs> yeah, they are. I agree. Because they look kind of human, but like... Just off enough? Yeah. But like, and it's on a robot, which is supposed to be metal, so like, it does not make sense. Like, if it was just a simple, like, uh, opening, closing hinge, like, uh, clank, then I would be able to believe it a lot more. But it's just entering into un the uncanny valley territory right now. This is yours if you want it. All right. I say if you want it because this I'm pretty sure is the thing that I, I thought this was going to be. <laughs> the Holostar Studio. Yep. I think this is the level I thought the last one was going to be. All right. The level in the boss battle I thought I was thinking. Time thinking. for me to fucking suck ass at boss fights. You're not that bad at boss fights. All right. This one's kind of tough. Jeans, I remember though. Jeans. Activate the cloaking device. device. With pleasure, sir. Now you see us. You see us. Now you. Crud. What? Cut! Cut! That's it. You've disgraced my set for the last time, kid. Take a basket weaving. You're fired. Get me the monkey. Get me the monkey. I'll see you at the train. Agent Clank, meet your new sidekick. All right, forget the chase scene and go right to the grand finale. You did read the script, I sent you. Uh, first, you narrowly survive a series of death-defying stunts, yada yada. You Where is this coming from? Yada yada yada. Finally, you rescue the Baroness, played by the lovely Miss Courtney Gears. Oh. Oh yeah, this is that guy who wanted us to get on set earlier. Action! Remember him? All right, this is the part where you take out the Wait, henchman what? and then chase Maximilian out of the bar. Try to make it look real, all right? Action! You only have four health. All right, so also I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Whacking him, I guess. That seems to be the prevailing strategy. Now get to Maximilian's office right. before he can make his escape. I just straight up got merged by that laser. Yeah, that was hilarious to me. Do I even have a fire button? I don't. I just punch people. Are you sure you don't have a fire button? Circle or R1? Oh, I, I can fire bananas. It's bananas. It's shit. Alright, how do I fix this shit? I don't know. Punch it? Okay. Because trying to punch it was okay, fucked up. Awesome. Yeah, because you were facing Max a little too close to the, to the lasers. All right, I love a good JC. All right, you're doing great, kid. Now avoid the lasers and meet up with the monkey in the casino parking lot. All right. Agent Clank and the monkey must put aside their differences and work together to reach that ledge. Let's see some real emotion out there, okay? You're gonna put him to work? <laughs> oh. Whoops. <laughs> we already have this mechanic once in this game. Yeah, but it was you doing it. Okay. That's why I need to learn this for the first time. Yeah, it's, it's not that. I was just wondering, like... Was that this game or the last game? Because I know I saw it. Oh, yeah. Let's see. More play clubs. The bridge is out. Mm. Think fast. How would Agent Clank get across? Oh, you have to help the monkey up. You gotta help the monkey up first. Okay. There's a second switch to make the thing go up. Oh, here we go. Yeah, he's already on the floor. That monkey is the smartest thing in this game. Huh. Ironically enough. Yeah. 
Now, someone in the comments pointed out um, after the last video that that monkey does more than 90% of the Q-Force. Like, what, what does the Q-Force do, right? Ratchet and Clank do literally everything. So, okay, that was weird. Try it again. It's I think he just got stuck acting, on you. Clank. Look it up. There we go. Um... So, like, Ratchet and Clank do all of it, right? So they're the 10% yeah. that I'm discard discounting, right? Mm -hmm. So besides them, who do we have? Skid Marks, who gives you the hacker and, like, yeah. act like two things at the beginning. Um, yeah. Quark, who comes up with the terrible plans and does nothing. Uh, Olga gets in your way. Yeah, who just withholds equipment from you. Yeah. That's Literally, it. the monkey does more than anyone other than Ratchet and Clank. Fantastic! Keep it up, Clank! Adding a little drama there by getting hit. Yep, no, you gotta make it look realistic. You yep. gotta keep up the drama. Yeah, will he? Won't he? We'll oh, see. I love it! Okay, this Your suit disappeared at some point. Grand finale, giant plank Hang on. The what the fuck? Thanos. Don't screw this up, kid. Action! We have seen giant plank. Yes. But this is this time it's just normal size and it's made to look giant. Yeah. What I'm talking about? Yeah. Because it's clearly uh reference to uh, Godzilla and uh, all, the, all those other monster movies that make the same thing. But Godzilla did it first. Or at least most famous of them. He might not be the first one. Yeah. Alright, where did the monster go? Those tanks are Oh, really? Yeah, everything tries to kill you, you're the protagonist. I didn't even see the tanks moving. I thought they were just props. Nah, they were turning to face you. They hadn't shot yet, but I could tell they were going to. Where are you fuckers coming from? And why are you giant in this cannon? Giant fucking ninjas, bruh. Yeah. Don't think too hard about it. Giant, giant fucking ninjas. Ninja. Can I, can I go back to fighting the big monster? Yeah, seriously, where did he go? I think you gotta keep chasing him because, uh... Cause he just kinda fucked off. These guys are just supposed to get in your way and waste your time. Which they are doing. Oh, destroy that one. This guy? Maybe you can't. Oh, you can't. You just didn't do anything. Go around that corner. I'm gonna don't destroy go this entire set if I don't see this monster soon. <laughs> Maybe you are just supposed to fight all the shit. <laughs> wow. Because you have actually searched this entire place. Yeah. The monster actually just fucked up. Yeah. He just stopped existing because they wanted you to fight more shit. How is, uh, fight scenes written to a script? Uh, I have no idea. Do oh, you just write, like, they fight? Or do they have, like, the entire choreography scripted out? Well, clear happen? well, clearly, in this, it's just literally they fight. Yeah. Yeah, in this. But this is also a yeah. And it's also dumb. <laughs> Oh, and then the ninjas come and try to back him up. This is the worst movie ever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind of is. But apparently it's really successful in this universe, because everybody seems to love playing. Yeah. It's kind of like um, some of those like super popular actors that'll just sell movies just by them doing it. Yeah. But, but, but these Secret Agent Clank movies are the thing that sold Clank. <laughs> yeah. So one of them was good. Yeah. Or people consider this good. I think people consider this good. 
maybe in the future they're just really uh, people really like this just shitty movie schlock. Yeah. It is It is believable to say that they've just fucking run out of ideas. Yeah. Even the critics are gonna love it. You have no idea what a thrill it is to be rescued by a big hunk of titanium alloy like yourself. Oh, boy. <laughs> Perhaps now you will tell me what Dr. Nefarious is planning. I have a better idea. Why don't you ask him yourself? The fuck? I have a present for you, Snicky Wookums. <laughs> <laughs> Why does she like Nefarious? I don't know. I see him to yes. see to Craig, it is an honor to finally make your acquaintance. I have been following your exploits ever since your first mission, when you defeated the mind-stealing snap beasts from Dimension X. I believe that. Oh, that's right. He is an actual fan. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. So now he needs to fucking play it up. <laughs> you are a hero of the robots across the galaxy. And yet, oh. you deny your own destiny. You choose to bow and scrape before the squishies. Where is your pride? Who you are, Agent Kite? Organic All right. forms have as much right to inhabit this galaxy as we do. Clank, if you want to live, you need to play along with this guy for at least a little bit. <laughs> If you play along, you can get some of his like secrets and shit. You, and not only that, if nothing else, you can just be like, "All right, I I need to request a ship," and then fucking what leave. <laughs> yeah. I could be taking him so long. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that literally the only introduction ah! we have? Gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Gameplay! <laughs> Shit! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's as funny, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's because it's like the most, like, honest, like, introduction to a thing. It's like, yes, we kind of have a story. Also, dudes are shooting at you. <laughs> Go. Do it. <laughs> like, right. It's just the game admitting that, yeah, we're just going to have you shoot more dudes now. All right, I think, that sounds cool. I think we need the Annihilator. I'm fine with the Annihilator. Because that sounds like it's going to be a good purchase. Yeah, it does. It has 20 ammo, though, so it might not be good for boxes. That's fair. Unless it deals a fuck ton damage. It might. I think it's gonna be one of those guns that, like, you pull out when you really want to wreck someone. Because mm -hmm. you don't get a lot of it, but it will do you yeah. some good. I sure hope this purchase will be good. We shall see. Oh, yeah, it was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> one shot's normal enemy. Anyway. Uh, well, how does it do against the green guy? That's what I want to know. Go to the whip. Whip is the only good thing against the whip. Oh, oh. Ha! Ah! Ah! Okay, the big boys are still too smart. But the okay. small ones actually stopped fighting you. Alright, alright, alright. That's a good compromise. Fair turnabout. How did you end up selecting that? I think I selected it by us. <laughs> yeah, but it was on the other side of the wheel. I have no idea. Anyway. Oh Probably no. To get to it. Anyway. I thought you were trying to get back to the annihilator. No. Okay, actually, this guy's going Yeah, that's why I was saying, I wonder how much it feels to him. Well, we know how much it feels to the green guys now, just for reference. To the, to the red orange guys. Because you didn't shoot one of the green guys. With the, that's why I wanted to know how much it dealt to the green guys. No, because I wanted to see how much it, the regular guns dealt to the green guys. Oh, I see what you're saying. 
Get the green guy here. It's, it, two. it's two shops to fill the green. Yeah, this was a worthwhile purchase. Yeah, those guys have a lot of health. So. But luckily, our DPS just went up. Yeah, by quite a large margin. Yeah, we should save this. There's a double bolt multiplier box on the way. Get that, and then still it's going to be I know just the gun. <laughs> chaos. Let chaos ring. <laughs> you just almost died, but you're an anti priest. Yes. Not exactly the right one. Uh oh. Uh oh. This guy's just sniping me from across the fucking back. Yeah. I think he's the only guy that's in it. Like, in any significant way. Fossil. But there has been a lot of dudes chipping away at you gradually, so. Hey, you can buy a new ammo right away. Cool. Unless you want to bet the boss fights just around the corner. Probably is, but. You still buy ammo. If anything, you want to have ammo for the boss fight. You already did. <laughs> but there's the thing. Here we go. Oh boy! My favorite part of the game! The <laughs> hacking mini game. I think with the exception of the one that you uh, flipped out on and gave to me, I think you've done every single one of these. With the exception of that one that in the tutorial that you just ignored. Okay, next. So you're the hacking expert again, I guess. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Not even by choice, by pure coincidence. Of course, one spawn right as you do that. Jeez, that was actually really good. That was less good. <laughs> Nice. There's four stages to this one. I just checked. Wonderful. I always wanted to do a huge side excursion <laughs> of mashing buttons. Oh boy, I always wanted to not play the game. I was kind of feeling that in Ratchet 1, not gonna lie. That's fair. That is absolutely fair. But in this case, it's a sarcastic statement. Yeah, this is actually something that's fairly enjoyable. Yeah, until you have to do random shit. <laughs> Didn't want to crush you, I guess. I guess. Good to know they have safety measures on their, uh, whatever this is. What is this place? Is this like a movie set or some shit? There's some chairs, and then there's like a casino. I'm pretty sure that's what he said. Yeah. Let's go for it. You are actually just genuinely tearing up this fucking movie studio. Yeah. You're still I... gonna get fired as Jeeves the butler. I mean, if I'm fired, might as well take this fucking movie set down. Right. Did he fire you though? Yeah, he did. Oh, he did actually fire you? That's a shame. But it just makes the context even better. Fuck yeah. it, I'm destroying your studio, bitch. Yeah. Absolutely. Ironically, you actually didn't oh. destroy anything in this room. What? Except for apparently the game. Uh, only by transforming did I restore balance. <laughs> <laughs> there was one too many lines. Reject, mo reject modernity. Become tyrannoid. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh. No. Are you fucking shitting me? <laughs> <laughs> Are you shitting me? Do the hacker, Jacob. <laughs> Make 
Maybe this will, maybe this will fix it. <laughs> also, free level of hack, apparently. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> they just handed you that one. Yeah, you are actually pretty good at this hacking mini game. I mean, you kind of have to be forced to get good. I guess. I don't know, I feel like you could slog through this just trying over and over again and not getting good. How do you time that so well? Uh, it's such an issue timing it because the thing is so floaty and weird. Two more, and there they are. Alright. Nice! One more time. What is. Um, your favorite hacking mini game? Definitely not the one from the first game. From anything, though. You can pick anyone. I can't really remember a lot of hacking mini games. That's because, uh, yep, they it's... exist <laughs> primarily in this style of game. Which I know is not your thing much when you were. <laughs> this is perfect. This is the ultimate challenge. What the fuck You're is You're only this allowed shit? to be the Tyranoid. You must scope out the area as the Tyranoid. What is this also, fucking Also, there's shit? just not a way across that. Oh wait, it's a grapple. Well, you know what you must do. Why? You Why want me this... to deal with this shit? I'll deal with this shit. You know I think what? it's funny. I, I think this is absolutely atrocious. <laughs> <laughs> why can't I go to my second map menu? Okay, I can't Why even... Why is this a thing? You died. <laughs> Apparently so. All right. Well, do you want it back? Because I did sure. fix it. <laughs> I fixed it by dying. You know what? I'll deal with this part first. Because get me get get me back to where I was before. I will do so by abusing this mechanic. The minion Nancy. Yeah. yeah. I'll get you back to where you were. Because honestly, I just enjoy the combat of this game, and I'm willing to do it. So that's the cursed room over there. Yeah, that room is absolutely cursed. You cannot go in there. Okay. I think that's everything? Yeah. And the hacking stuff is like automatically done ahead of time. Yeah, the hacking stuff I... is already resolved. Is it because I have the... Why? Why? What? Oh, there's a thing over there. Oh, right, I don't have to climb. There's a thing where? Oh, a gold bolt. Or, it's not gold in this one. It's a game, I guess. Alright. Alright, you're back to where you were. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to do the fucking forward boost, and I was like, why can't I do it? And it's because, you're like, because Clank is fucking good. Yeah. The parts of the game that... The worst parts of these games are the parts where you have to play as one of the characters without the other. I don't know, I feel like Ratchet without Clank is still fairly enjoyable. But Clank without Ratchet just sucks. That's fair. I do feel like it does a pretty good job of uh, fitting the whole game's... You know you need the dynamo, right? Which Wait, one, is, you the, which one is the dynamo? It's on the other page. It's that one. Oh, right. you, you, you hovered over it for a long-ass time and then didn't select it. I was wondering what the hell you were doing. Let's try to play this like the first game. But, uh, yeah, this, uh, I, I, they, they do pretty effectively actually drive home the point through gameplay of the fact that teamwork is kind of the point. Yeah. Which is actually pretty cool. Because uh, they both kind of suck without the other one. Although, let's be honest, Clank is a thousand times worse. Yeah. Because Ratchet still has, like, 90% of his arsenal, he just lacks his mobility. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see. That's why I thought Deadlock was going to be so bad, and why, as a kid, I never bothered to get it. Why? Because you, you don't have flank. Oh, really? But huh. they give you the mobility options anyway. Okay. They just give you a fucking jetpack and say, yeah, okay, you can have it. Like, yeah, it's just the game, I guess. Yeah, we recognize the game would be terrible if we forced you to not have flank through the whole game. Yeah, so. look, that, that just fucking melted. Yeah. Melted. Yeah, you just blew the shit out of that thing. 
You also blew the shit out of those boxes. Uh, I tried to get some ammo. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. Yeah. But Deadlock is actually okay, because they just give you the options. Also, it's multiplayer, which is interesting. Alright. Um, I'm actually kind of on the fence about whether we should play it, to be honest. Because on one hand, it is cool to be able to do multiplayer, you and me. Mm -hmm. That would be nice, and maybe we'll try it, but like not finish it. I don't know. But the plot, turns out, isn't that important. Um, remember how I said there was one important thing? Yeah. I realized that due to the retcon that happens literally in the next game, it basically is not important. Alright. So, maybe we'll just try it like once or some shit. Just show you what it is. I mean, it depends on how much time we end up having. I guess, yeah. Because if we're like... If, it, if, we might, if we don't have enough... Oh. Yeah, don't jump backwards in this game. <laughs> Always side to side. Oh, hold on. Yeah, you gotta get your ammo back. What were you saying about time? Like, if we have enough time to do it, then we'll do that. But if not, then we'll just skip it. Yeah. Yeah, also, I'm curious when Rift Apart is gonna come out. Because it's supposed to be... Because the they haven't released an official release date. Huh. So far, the official statement is just it'll be at some point during the release window of the PS5. Okay. Uh, and the PS5 is, like, next month, I think. I think I can just record this. Yeah, you can. It's just chill there. Um, I think the PS5 is, like, next month. Meanwhile, the, uh... So it could be, like, any... It could be any time from, like, next month to, like, early next year. Huh. So... Well, that's something to look forward to, I guess. Yeah, I'm actually super hyped for that because uh, I like a lot of the later games, and uh, they they really stick with what they're doing in the later games so mm -hmm. far. I mean, obviously, I haven't played with the part, but the later games. Um... Wow. Okay, that was weird. You just stuck to the wall and those yeah. games the later. The, the later games uh, improve the gameplay, in my opinion. Some people may disagree with me on that. Uh, some diehard fans of the originals. I will withhold you. But let's be honest, they stopped. Uh, <laughs> they stopped watching back when we shit on the first game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe they realized the error of their ways if they actually watched through the first game. Yeah. And they're like, oh shit, that's actually bad game. Yeah. Or maybe uh, they're, they're shitting on us for not getting it. Yeah, whatever though. Whatever your your gist is. Do your thing, my dude. Anyway, uh, I like the... I think the, the later games are an improvement. Um, honestly, they play a lot like this one. Uh, mm -hmm. This one has gradually gotten to that point. Um, so this is actually getting pretty close at this point. Later games, I think, have a lock on. Okay. Um, I could be wrong about that, but I believe they do have a lot. Uh, it's been a while. But anyway, um, but what I really like about the later games is that, uh, they started to, like, a have the story actually take itself seriously. And... I mean, it feels like they're trying to this one. Yeah, you're seeing that they want to, but they haven't quite made the leap yet. I suppose. It still feels like the other ones. But this one, like, at least the story makes sense. It's somewhat coherent. Yeah, it's coherent. But the later ones actually try to have a, like, serious story, and it gets actually really good sometimes. Um, to the point where, in the later games, the story is what actually sold me on the game. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's that's some. That's definitely a uh, surprise for me. Yeah, because this game clearly is not sold on its story. This one has a story, at least. Also, when they say it buffs your armor, they mean it just makes you invincible. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping that they wouldn't just have us still take considerable damage. Yeah. No, that's, you're just fucking invincible, apparently. Alright. I'll, oh, sorry, I'll take they, it. What were they saying? Oh, yeah. You can tell that they're trying to have a story in this game, but they're not quite to the point where the story is a selling point. 
Yeah, it's yeah. just a story that makes sense. Yeah, it that's holds kind the game of, together. That's kind of like the box standard that you should have a story that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. If you're going to have a game with the story. Yeah. But then the later games uh, actually start to care about the characters in the world. And they start to actually like build lore, which is kind of a foreign concept for this game. <laughs> um. And that's really neat to me, and Frank, I really like that. Where have you been? I thought something happened to you. And then into the Nexus has nothing to do with anything. Rockets loot. Although based on the Rift Apart trailer, it does look relevant to that. What? Okay. What about so, nefarious? It is relevant. It's just not relevant to the thing I cared about. is a border star cruiser called. However, Rift Apart seems to be going back to. Okay. Nice Not job, only is it doing the game, so, from what I can tell, the gameplay of the down that stark ones that I like, and the serious tone of the ones that I like, but it also is actually going back to uh, the the story beats that I was interested in. Oh, interesting. Like, they're actually bothering to touch on it. It's hard to explain without giving it. Well, yeah. Okay. I won't. I'm, I was I won't. But that's that's the gist of it. They're going back to the story beats that I was actually interested in. Uh, mostly it's a story that's personal to, to Ratchet as a character. Um, okay. Unlike Rift Apart, which basically just had them solving another issue that was unrelated to them, personally. Hmm. There was a slight thematic link with how it's related to them, and that was it. Were you spotted? No way, man. I've been staying out of sight, keeping a low profile. I'm like a shadow. And you're sure it was her? Totally. She even autographed my t-shirt. Yeah. Tell how much this thing is worth. I thought he said he wasn't spotted. Hold on a sec, bro. Somebody's coming. Somebody's coming. Hey, if you do to hear about the shirt, the bidding starts at 300 volts. Whoa, chill out, man. Hey! This kid's in trouble. We better get back to the Obani moons. I mean, I guess the bidding starts at 300 volts, but still, that's cheap. Oh, Bonnie Draco. Find Skid. That's right. the Death Star, I guess. Okay, we finally got to the Death Star. That means right. it's my turn to suffer. And I'll probably, this will probably be the last one we do, I'm guessing. You are invited to suffer. Depending on how long this level takes. Oh, uh, it's 11.13 right now, so hopefully it doesn't take 45 minutes. But even if it takes half an hour, we're probably not continuing. That's what I was thinking, is if it takes half an hour... I don't. I haven't been paying attention to how long these levels last, but if it takes me half an hour, then that means the next one will probably take half an hour, which would be till after 12, so... Also, Clank is totally evil. So unless... Yeah, I saw that too. So unless this takes like 15 minutes, it'll probably be the last one. Yeah, but somehow I doubt that. It could. It seems like it's going to be something... Uh, I think this is where the boss battle I was talking about was. So, uh, I was wrong twice, which resulted in me ending up still playing the thing I wanted. Also, I just did a dump. Sorry. That's my bad. I'm gonna undo that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, do you, uh, mind not shitting on me for missing with the Annihilator <laughs> from now on? Fair enough. How do I get across this? I just jump? Okay. You just, you just do it. I wasn't sure if my jump was far enough. Oh, no. Okay, this is... Welcome to Mario Galaxy. Again, the later games actually do this a lot, but they also do it better. <laughs> <laughs> that was pure gold, and you can't tell me otherwise. I refuse to believe anything else. I refuse to believe that that was anything but pure gold. That was actually <laughs> just drowning while on dry land. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that we're, we're actually just invading the next step. Ow. Okay. Apparently you don't have a double jump right now. That is information I was not privy to. Gravity. Yeah, it's because of the stupid gravity mechanic. Yeah, this is actually just the trek that we're doing. <laughs> yeah, this is. Not gonna lie, this is pretty good aesthetic though. Yeah. And if it weren't for the limiting of, of uh, the jump, then this would be really good in gameplay, too. It's a cool idea. It looks fucking cool. The thing is that uh, the later games, like I said, actually do this gravity shit a lot. Mm -hmm. But they actually do it in a way that's way more tolerable. Yeah, because they probably were released after Galaxy. Yeah. Probably took a leaf out of their notebook. 
maybe just a little bit. You know what this reminds me of? Bringing what? it all back. The end of uh, Star Fox Assault. The last level. Yeah, you know, I see what you're saying. Although, don't tell Edwin or Jerry. Yeah, because they haven't gotten it yet. They haven't gotten anywhere yet now. The lack of double jump is really scary. Fine. I mean, you don't have to apologize to me, I can see. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is that boss fight. For the bio -obliterator. Let's see what Nefarious has been up to. Whoa! Like I oh, maybe not. You were this kinky, this Don't you ever shut up. Okay, I'll zip it. Man, the guys aren't gonna believe this. Like, destroy all species. Dude. Dude. They turn skin what? into a robot? Heh. <laughs> That's <laughs> Into an evil robot. For Dr. Nefarious. Well, can we get uh, that I one Earthbound song meme again? Thanks. Let's see if you can also, time code. Than you can 221. <laughs> I'm gonna die because I'm writing a time code down. Also, you I can't can pause. Fucking pause I cannot! What? Okay, now I can. I couldn't. I swear. 221. Uh, whatever that thing is. Uh... Earthbound. I'm just gonna write Earthbound because it'll help me remember. This is why time codes suck, but it's the best way to edit. So. All right. So I guess we're fucking fighting Britney Spears. Specifically, her backup dancer. Apparently. Also, this song rocks. This song isn't good. This is techno. Yeah, but this song technos, man. <laughs> Oh fuck. Also, I just totally shot with the beat. Alright, I gotta stop being shit. These dudes keep spawning behind me and doing melee damage to me, which I I could do without. It's right, fine though, I got a free I got a fresh start because I got more yeah, health. You used up your one free plan. Yeah, I did. Oh, let me jump behind him so that I can actually shoot him now. Did you hear that? No, what? She said, oops, I did it again. <laughs> yeah. They're not even pretending. Yeah, they're not even, like, trying to hide it now. Apparently there's a fair amount of health in this arena, because I keep getting my health back and not realizing it. Huh. Well, I mean, you do have two nanotech in this time. I had two? Yeah, you had it happen twice. I didn't see the second time. Well, the second time was what I was just at. I wasn't. I get blind to these things because right. I get used to playing these games and just accepting it and not actually paying attention to what it happens. But that is interesting. I guess I am killing a lot of dudes right now. Yeah, maybe these guys are just worth a lot of XP just to make sure you can eventually beat this boss. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, this song is actually good. Like, no joke. I can't really hear the song out of the uh, constant sounds of you shooting your gun. I'll play it for you after this. Uh, also, remind me to watch that uh, red thing you were talking about. Maybe I'm just like, I, I can't split my attention across too many things. It's, it's not your fault. It is really quiet. It would be much easier to hear if I had the volume turned up. It's, it's difficult to discern sounds from each other, first of all. It's also especially difficult to discern sounds from each other when they're both quiet. <laughs> I guess. And when we're talking. Yeah, we're also talking over it. But I'll, I'll take your word for it that this song is a thing. I mean, as far as video game boss music goes. Okay, there are actually some really big video games. I don't know if I'd... I don't know if I'd um, I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying it's not the type of thing I'd listen to, like, voluntarily, normally. I guess. But it is good for a boss. Sure. It's it's not my style of music, but it does have a nice kick to it, and it's All good right. for it's good for fighting too in this game. So. Sure. It makes sense that the 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 boss that's themed around music they had to at least put some effort into being catchy. Sure. Kind of mindless catchy dribble, but it's still good. 
Well, yeah, but isn't that just bubble pop in general? I mean, I guess, but... Here you go. Okay, well, not this part. This part's fun as hell. Because it starts sounding like I'm going to be so quiet. Anyway. Tira, guys. They'll never know. They'll <laughs> never see it come. Talk about good music from games. <laughs> Oh yeah, Persona 5 had like no bad stuff. Yeah, Persona 5 was 100% style. Oh yeah. Everything about it was flawless in terms of style. Like, its its menus were aesthetic as fuck. Oh yeah. Like, uh, menus are norm no, not normally like the star of the show, but in that game, they looked fucking gorgeous. Like, they actually decided to pay attention to making the menus look good. Which is, it makes sense, it's a, it's a, um... This is actually a good time to get this. Stun the shit out of me. Oh, or not. Or I'll die. That well, I think her either. getting stunned is when she hits you. Oh. So, yeah, I guess it's su you succeeded. Oh, goddammit. That's fine. I just gotta actually play better this time. I started off really bad, so. Yeah. I just gotta keep up with it. Also, I didn't know that she was on the map the whole time. Um, at the beginning, I thought I was just dealing with her mini. Yeah. She shows up occasionally, so I gotta I got keep my eye out for that. Also, what I want to know is why is Clay still embedding somebody that he's trying to, like, defeat me again? Uh, he's undercover, I guess. But he's not at least. Wait, do we know that Clank is evil? I think so. Then I guess the answer is just because, uh, Ratchet fucking... Because this would suck without Clank. This is true. I guess you could argue that... This is a pretty good boss fight. It'd be a real shame if it got crippled by the fact that you don't have Clank. Yeah. Also, this is the boss fight I wanted to do. Yeah. Because it's a genuinely challenging boss fight in a game where now the combat is actually good. Yeah, it's actually a combat that's worth, you know, flexing. Yeah. As opposed to a combat that you might want to hide. <laughs> Like, oh, if this game's got combat, technically. <laughs> Not the star of the show. See, I'm doing much better this time. Well, I mean, in all fairness, until um, her the next stage, until her second stage, you were doing well the first time. Well, not this well. I was getting hit by these. You were, you were. I was just. I was. I was. I was getting hit by these, but I was negating that with the fact that I kept getting lucky and getting upgrades yeah, you kept, when I needed you them. Kept leveling up. Yeah. But now I'm starting to remember the pattern. So this is the stage where it gets hard because you have to deal with her and her backup dancers at the same time. Yeah. But I figured out the strat for her backup dancers last time. In or yeah, last time is I need to move in circles around them, like I just did. Mm -hmm. So I can eliminate them and then get back to dealing with her. And now I know how to dare deal with her attacks because I've gotten them so many times. Yeah. So I'm I'm in a much better shape this time. Okay. In fact, I don't think I've gotten gotten hit. I might have in the first second. Oh, I love the but... It also helps that I'm not talking about the song anymore. Because, mm -hmm. uh, as any good YouTuber knows, and also us, because <laughs> we're not good YouTubers. Um, nonsense. <laughs> As any YouTuber, as any experienced YouTuber knows, um, talking and playing difficult games just fucking sucks. Yeah, that's You make kind yourself of, look like an idiot. Yeah, it's kind of something that I'm supposed to be adding the commentary right now. It's because okay. you're the one who's doing the actual work. It's okay. My brain just shuts off and I start saying random shit, and it's fine. I would prefer those guys did not spawn directly in this but you know what? It's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Whips and chains and so these robots. Oh. Is she just like cheering you on as you destroy her backup dancers? I think like it's one of those things where the game considers this like a dance and she's kind of treating it the same way. Like a dance of death of sorts. Sure. And as a result, uh, she's just happy to be dancing. Sure. Even if she is getting the shit beat. Yeah, she's now. a fun-loving character, and her entire battle is focused around this idea. And so, as a result, the game isn't particularly. She's not being particularly realistic about you know the fact that you're fighting. Yeah. Because 
I mean, at least now she hasn't taken too much damage. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, she might get one added later. Let's find out. Yeah, I would be. I, maybe, like. Yeah, this she, is where I started getting shit on last time. Yeah, because you didn't know the, the patterns. Yeah. I still kind of don't. I haven't seen all of them yet. But I know how to deal with some things. Like that. Um. Tear of it. Maybe, uh, maybe now is a good time to bring out the Anaya. Yeah, I'm running out of just, ammo just in general. To, just to burst down her last. I don't know, she's still got like half her health. Oh, come on, that one did not hit me. I was clearly above it. I'm calling bullshit on that one. I'm calling my mom because you just said <laughs> a naughty word. <laughs> one disposable pop star disposed. We just straight up fucking killed Britney Spears. Uh, you bum, 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 bum. Britney Spears is dead. Okay, we st so Ratchet still doesn't know that Clank is under cover. It might be a trap. I'd just like to announce that eventually that joke is going to be in poor taste. could be our only chance to stop We just killed Britney Spears. Oh. Come on, Clank. It won't be anytime soon. But eventually that joke will be in poor taste. And when it is, let it be known that we said it first before it was bad. We did actually make a, uh, a joke about Prince, like, a couple months before he died. Oops. Yeah. That's a little bit awkward. Yeah, that's exactly the type of thing I'm talking about. It wasn't even that bad of a joke, though. It was just like, I was making fun of the fact that he changed his name and then he changed it back, and I said I refuse to call him Prince. Now, I, I will only refer to him by his true name, the artist formerly known as the artist formerly known as Prince. <laughs> anyway. I thought it was funny. It was just poorly timed. Yeah. All right. We're done here. Yeah, we're done. And that actually did take 15 minutes. Yeah. We could do another one if you're up for it. Well, let's see what we've got. Sure. Let's see what the next level is. I enjoyed that one. That one was fun. Zelda in the Starport. You know, fine. Okay. okay, here you go. I'm gonna regret this. Later. I apologize if the controller is slightly damp, because that one actually took me some concentration. Uh, elbow grease. Yeah, that one took me some actually, like, got me sweating a little bit. Mm -hmm. I could tell. Luckily, the Annihilator saved our ass. Yeah, that Annihilator, like, I was like, oh, this isn't doing shit. And then, like, two shots later, I looked at her health, and it was gone, and I was like, <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> What the hell happened here? And nail clippers. What the hell happened here? What the hell happened here? God damn it. But yeah. I don't mind providing the majority of the commentary. I have a problem with talking as it is. <laughs> okay. As long as you're fine with it, I don't have to provide <laughs> as much commentary as maybe I'm comfortable. Oh hey, it's this green button. The brain not thinky commentary is something I actually kind of enjoy. I thought we agreed to put that jungle business behind us. <laughs> it was mating season. How could I have known she was your sister? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you Ra been standing there? Ratchet's face, though. <laughs> I didn't see it. I'll, I'll watch it on the rewatch. You need to rewatch it. Yeah. I'm sure it was great. I might make it the thumbnail. All right. We'll see. Just zoomed in really close on Ratchet's face. <laughs> Did you see uh, the thumbnail for the last one? Uh, no. It was just... So the title was, as you saw, it was an actually good game, and it had, uh, it, it, I didn't do this on purpose, by the way, it was a mere coincidence that this showed up as one of the options for thumbnail, I didn't make a custom thumbnail for it, it was just Ratchet, like, like, looking just a little bit confused and disturbed. <laughs> Whoa. 
Once again, my brilliant plan has got the enemy completely unaware. <laughs> Message received. What's that, Clank? Nothing. Why would you say that? <laughs> what the fuck? Remember, nefarious is mine. Unless we get. Why would you say that? It was so obvious. Clank, let's get some payback for Skid. Oh yeah, Skid's a robot now. Yeah, he's just straight up like. He's been borged. That's just fucking permanent, I guess. Yeah. Skid has been converted to the board. It's thoroughly possible that Skid never shows up in the series again. Well, I mean, uh, the future series probably has few people coming back because it's the future. So I wouldn't be surprised. So I actually rewatched some of the cutscenes from that game, and it turns out I don't think it is that far in the future. I think they just actually retconned some stuff. Well. Wow. Because, yeah, I don't want to spoil anything, but Quark is still in it. I'm, and he is not one of the people who goes with you into the future. I'm somehow not surprised. Well, of course he's in it, so, yeah, that's not really a spoiler. I thought that Quark was just going to come with you. No, he doesn't. That's the weird thing. And he's still there, so I guess, I guess you're not that far into the future. It makes sense for characters like Nefarious, because, like... He's a robot. He can live forever, so whatever. Yeah, so like, but doesn't... Quark is there, and he doesn't change at all. So it's Maybe like... he's just middle-aged Quark. He, he doesn't look any different. He did more of a transformation at the beginning of this game when he was fucking caveman Quark. Yeah. So, I guess you don't go that far into the future. It's just the implication is you missed some stuff. Maybe it's just a couple of years or something. I guess. I don't know. It didn't fully... It, it doesn't fully make sense because you can tell that the developers of the game just were like, okay, we want to tell an actually serious story now, uh, what do we want to do? And then they decided what they wanted to do, and we're like, oh, that doesn't mesh with, like, two things. It's not that much. But still, there's two things that are a problem. So then they're like, we're just gonna ignore that. <laughs> Alright. And maybe use time as some bullshit oh, excuse shoot. for it. Oh, This radically changed. The N90 Hurricane. Ooh. There must be, like, a, oh, a max a level shit. Yeah, there's a max level of things. V5. Yeah, there's max level versions of things. Alright. Maybe this is the max level of the blaster. Because yeah. we just used the shit out of the blaster. We did. It's good against everything now. It used to be mostly good against bosses, but not regular enemies. Now it's good against those too. Look at this. So. M90 Hurricane is a cool name though. Yeah. I'm gonna name my next dog M90 Hurricane. <laughs> I'm gonna name my daughter M90 Hurricane. I don't know if I'll have a daughter, but... I'm making that joke anyway. Because it just seems like a terrible thing. To name a person. <laughs> <laughs> this ninja tried really hard. He was trying to <laughs> style on you more than anything. Like, that dude really did his best. These guys are like the dude from, uh... Uh, Indiana Jones. You know the one. Yeah. The I first know one. one. What? He just turned invisible? Heh. <laughs> what? I don't know if this is intentional from the game or not. I think it is. It just looks really bad. Yeah. It looks like a bug. Is it a bug or is it a feature? I think it's a feature because you did notice he was doing that, like, stalking animation. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. so. I think it was intentional. I mean, when it comes to EA games, though, you never know. Yeah. They just should have, like, um... Like, maybe made him fade in and out more. Yeah, if it was a fading thing, I would have been able to recognize it as being not a play. Yeah, or like a dissolve animation, maybe. It was just kind of weird. <laughs> Figuring out the big gun, does it? I wonder what the advanced version of the Annihilator is. Well, let's keep using it and see if we get to find out. Yeah, we're almost to version 2. Um... Yeah. It was... It was really hard for me to find that one Earthbound meme I was looking for that one time. Because I had no fucking clue what it oh, was. Here we go. It's got a red cone to pick. Ooh. Yeah, I had no fucking clue what that meme was. I didn't even know it was an Earthbound thing. Which meme? The song that's like... Oh, that. Yeah, but and I tried to describe that to you and you didn't know what I was talking about. 
<laughs> and I didn't fucking know what it was from. I And the only context I knew was that it was a meme where, like, something disappears. <laughs> and that song plays. And I could not fucking know- I didn't know how to describe that to anyone. And I had no idea what to search to find that. <laughs> but eventually I just went to Nathan and was like, Hey Nathan, what's that meme where it's like, and then he was like, oh, you mean, and he told me, like, the actual fucking name of it, and I was like, God damn it, how do you know this information? <laughs> Apparently it's an Earthbound thing, I guess. The song, uh, anyway, yeah. is from Earthbound. Uh, I don't remember the name of it, but I can find it again. I also have it saved on my computer, so I don't need to find it again. I'm glad we know this, but I'm also yeah, surprised I'm that Nathan knows this. <laughs> of course he knows it, though. The riffraff I don't know why he knows it, but of course he does. What the fuck? Like an anvil. This is the best part of my day. <laughs> I love how Quark's name is spelled wrong. Hmm. That's that's not how you spell that, right? There's not a W in it. Yeah. It's Q U, right? I'm not crazy. Yeah, no, it's Q U A R. Yeah. That's how you spell Quark. Also, I want to point out. I know it was a couple minutes ago now, but that one thing when Quark said uh, Courtney's ear seemed to like it, and his eyes fucking went white, <laughs> was really weird. Hmm. <laughs> because his eyes bugged out. What are you waiting for? Yeah. The ship could explode any second. I think I spotted something important. I can't leave without it. I'll meet you back at the shuttle. What the fuck? All right. We have one minute to get out of here. All right. This level took seven minutes. Eight now, assuming you do this on the first try. I'd like to point that out. Huh. Well, I guess this is more just a story setting. There's a lot of those, actually, as the games go on. You know, I'm also surprised that these guys aren't evacuating. Yeah. Nah, no, they're staying behind to die. Uh, where are we cause. going? Oh, there, there we go. Wow, that was fast. I almost died, too. I love when games, like, now. tell you to get out in a limited time, and they put a bunch of enemies in front of you, and it's like, yeah, you really think I'm gonna fight that? Yeah, Why I would I? Wait! I mean, clearly they don't think that we're going to do that. You limited- Well, if they didn't think we were going to do that, why did they give us so much time? Mm hmm Maybe they thought we would get hung up on something. I guess. But all games always seem to do that. They give you, like- They give you way more time than you need to run through them. <laughs> so, yeah, I saw that. Him dying in the- That was, like, creepypasta material. Yeah, it was just Ratchet in blank space. Yeah, and he was in his dying animation, too. Not his, like, in the process of dying animation, but, like, the one when he's low health. Ah. Yeah, he was, like, hunched overboard. <laughs> that was, like, some creepypasta shit right there. We didn't edit that in, for the record. Yeah, no. That, that, that's, <laughs> that, that just happened. Yeah. Oh, yeah, big Alex. Um, uh, well, that came out of nowhere. The Rage Seals. Wow, Did you okay. detect any other craft leaving the Star Cruiser? Uh, an escape pod? Escape. Another shuttle, maybe? Anything? I'm sorry, Ratchet. We heard the whole thing over the comm link. You had no choice. Captain Quark died a hero. Except we not get really, because, because there's no way that this game would have him die like a chunk. Can we get 10 seconds of silence? Followed immediately by a dancing crab meme? Thanks. <laughs> let's, let's, let's actually be silent for 10 seconds. Wonderful qualities. I just don't know where to begin. Such as. Oh, er, okay. Uh, he was really tall and. Uh, and he had a unique fashion sense and he had a really. Alright, that's enough time. With Quark doesn't deserve of, anything. Well, you know, a butt shape. Uh, I, well, you know, I, I think I've droned out long enough. <laughs> I just heard what happened. I just heard what happened. <laughs> There's a lot of editing in this episode. Yeah. I mean, it's we fun. had a lot to say. Yeah. We didn't at the start. It was a slow burn. But we got there. None of those things are on our turn. Holy shit. He may be evil, but he's not wrong. Yeah. 
Maybe he's evil and that's like removed his mental filter. Yeah. <laughs> what a load of bullshit. <laughs> did we ever get chapter three? No. I mean, maybe we did, but maybe we didn't. Deja Q all over again. I heard somebody has the latest vid comic in the Quark vs. Nefarious series. You gave it to me! Hurry up and finish it already? Two seconds ago. Are you shitting me? So, we're actually. This is one we actually have to do. Yeah, it's for the story. Right. I'm gonna do it, but this is gonna be the last thing we do. Because yeah, we, that, that took way less time than I was expecting. Yeah, it's 11.41. So, we're. Okay, so we actually did do. We did get three. Oh, we do have to beat three. We did get three. We did not do three. Okay. Yeah, these two things will probably only take me like 20 minutes at most. Episode Quark's three, Shadow of the Robot. For six days, Captain Quark clung to the ship like the dung of a giant green space bird. Finally, the ship arrived at its destination, a secret robotic laboratory on planet Are you implying Mars. that you scooped the color Drawing on his are? mastery of the ancient I art guess. of disguise, Quark slipped into the laboratory completely undetected. Somebody <laughs> Sorry, this game makes all the obvious Somebody jokes, so I have to pick up the really obscure Quark's shit. Quark's plan was flawless, but unbeknownst to our hero, his every move was being watched. The famous Captain Quark couldn't possibly be this stupid. Could he? <laughs> Even drooling imbeciles can achieve success in certain fields, sir. Mad science, for example. Shall I have him annihilated, then? Let him come to us. I'll have a special oh. surprise waiting for him. <laughs> Is this going to explain how Dr. Nefarious becomes a robot? <laughs> no response. That's all the response in. I know. I don't actually care because it's not a huge spoiler. It's you can see it coming. I mean, you could have seen it coming from the very beginning that eventually it was gonna become yeah. a robot. I wouldn't have said it, but since you picked out the very obvious fact, yeah. Obviously. It's pretty clear. Was this Donkey Kong? Ow, sorry, yeah. I tried to jump I tried to do a half jump so I could uh, pick up that item and move on. Kong. More like floppy dong. Oh, uh, oh. okay. Alright, I see how it is. Okay, game. I'm dead. <laughs> I just jumped at the wrong time there. Okay. Don't worry, you got this. It's okay, it started me partway through, so I don't have to deal with playing. Oh fuck off! How do you fire so fast? You just gotta fucking backstab with your fists of justice. Yeah, the gun is ass in this game. Yeah. Hold down R1 and move the left analog stick for precision aiming. No. Now, at least you've got a lot of things. Yeah, that's true. No, fucking aim up. Jeez. This is just uncharacteristically nice. Yeah. There we go. There was a lot of things I had to deal with. I have a strong feeling that um, over here is something. Aha, uh -huh, see, there we go. I'm probably not going to get all of them anyway, which means that was just a waste of my time. But, <laughs> but it's for the cool. But I was, in fact, right. For the record. I really should have just rushed it in the start. Rather than waiting. Hold! No, no! Fuck! I tried to get to the. He laughed at me! <laughs> they have an animation for laughing at you. Wow. There appears to be a way to go down here. Ah. Uh, or. Yep. What? They you see how fucking quick. They immediately reload. Yeah. I don't know how I'm supposed to deal with that. I mean, I guess the gun is how I'm supposed to deal with that. Halt! Halt, halt! I will halt your. the beating of your heart. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
Yeah. I, I, got, I got him, dude. You did. Most of the damage I'm taking is because I'm picking up these things. Okay. So it's like, then on my second run, I'm usually like mostly fine. Okay. Except for that. Damn, this is actually really hard. Yeah, this is either a long level, or it's just, uh, or I'm just missing a ton of these things I'm supposed to get. Look at it. That's yeah, clear. Or, or you just don't thing. know the secret of this. No, 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 I need all the things. You're not getting all of the things. You missed one. More. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I Watch must. it restart after the platform's fully loaded up. I swear to God, if it does. Ha! Okay, there's still a pit. I guess you win this one. You were almost right. <laughs> okay. Oh shit, that's fast. I wasn't expecting to have so. Oh my god, he walks so much slower than he jumps. Oh no, it's because of the fucking the conveyor belt. It's a conveyor belt. Fucking bullshit. Fucking. What is this? Is this, this worth ten or something? No, that's the end of the level. Cool. I didn't get shit. For all you that. got shit on. That is true. That is true. Dude, look at his smug ass <laughs> Like, hey, hey, hey. That he knows what happened. six minutes, which is the length of a uh, Eminem song. It's Ooh, over, Nefarious. Never! Uh, a lot of the them. The Rap God. You're no uh, lose yourself. For the likes of uh, me. I think, uh. Um, <laughs> That's rich. I used to beat up geeks like you in high school. Most famous one I'll bet you a prom date came minutes, in a box I that believe. said batteries not included. A lot of his songs Sorry. are six minutes. That's why I said Come that. Come to think of it, we've met before, haven't we? Also, there's a. No! Uh, no. Wait, of what is this? Not. Mr. Bozell's ninth grade shit. biology class! Uh, I always hated biology! That's right, you were that freak with the headgear. Remember how you used to clean the chalkboard with your pants <laughs> while you were still wearing them? Oh, good times. You were great on my like size, still you stupid old. I was always big for my age. Yeah, he literally is you never not one. <laughs> Say, how about a wedgie? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's great. That was the best joke in the whole series yet. <laughs> I think it's safe to say we've seen the last of Dr. Nefarious. Time to celebrate another job well done. But the danger was far from over. For in defeating so one menace to the, the galaxy, water. Quark had created another, even more terrifying evil. <laughs> and there's Dr. Nefarious' backstory. All right. See, I genuinely like Dr. Nefarious as a villain. Alright. He's actually really fun. And also, he has the very classic "the hero Episode created four. him" backstory. Deja mm -hmm. Q, all over again. After defeating Doctor Nefarious on planet Magnus, what were we saying before that? Quark returned to his condo got in funny. Metropolis for some uh, well-earned R and R. <laughs> probably wasn't important. It's time you knew the truth. If you don't, the baby if you is forgot yours. about it. It probably Watch. wasn't important. You're right. <laughs> we, father. What is that from originally? Your evil I twin brother, Engelbert. Uh, but Janus, I. I'm Engelbert. Ooh, must be that fuck? pizza I ordered. Good hug, Captain Flash. This, this game loves making fun of uh, daytime television. What are you television. doing here? Yeah. Lifting you off your lazy butt. You have plumped up like a giant green breakfast. <laughs> it important. is time for the fitness course. Oh, oh, oh right. it's two and a half minutes. Meanwhile, okay. on a rooftop high above the yeah, bustling right. streets of Metropolis. <laughs> two and a half. Hour, and it's his son that he forgot about. Yeah. Go now, my See, I knew I knew the original context of it. I just couldn't remember it at the time. Bring me the head of Captain Quark. <laughs> Or thus is the backstory of Dr. Nefarious. Oh no. I should not have tried. Not, not that bad. Maybe if I can 
run right from the start. Yeah, okay. Okay. Two assisted speed instructions. Yeah, perfectly timed. As all things should be. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, for some reason that sequence was just funny. Because I was so bad. Because <laughs> I just walked off the cliff. <laughs> I was expecting it to be timed like the others, and it just wasn't. Yeah, it just threw you off. Okay. I guess that somehow worked out for you. I didn't need to... Well, the thing is, I saw the path of the, the cork metals. And I thought, I'm not waiting for this. And then I just ran towards the path, yeah. assuming it would bring me somewhere. Alright. And it did. Okay. These are actually getting somewhat challenging. Yeah, this one's all platforming, though. The last one had a lot of combat, and the combat was the annoying part. Quote unquote combat. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> a ladder. How do these things work again? Oh, I remember. Just press up or down. Um. Um. But yeah, but this one seems to have more platform. Also, this platform is just dying. I don't know why. This platform is just coughing up these beans. Shit. I hate when stuff like this insta-kills you. Is there something down here? Oh, pro there probably is. Yep. I knew it. Hopefully I won't die to bees this time. Actually, it wasn't even the bees, it was the fucking... hit. It's hip to punch bees. It's hip to punch bees! This is why they're going extinct. Yep. Don't you know gamers hate bees? Captain Quark literally just gave all of them the knuckle sandwich and they all died. <laughs> Don't you know it's, it's gamers' fault that bees are going extinct? Okay. This is why. Non gamers rising. <laughs> Fight back the horde of bee extinctors. Oh, this is new. It's uh, a fucking grenade. I don't care. I'm just gonna use this guy. Okay, perhaps I shouldn't have done that. Now that we're playing it again. Oh, I am stuck in this area now. I mean, oh, well, the good news is I'm probably gonna die soon. <laughs> do you need to get it, or do you want to get it? Yes. The good news is I'm probably gonna die anyway, which means I won't have a choice. Oh, you know what? Can I go back now that I'm not? Yeah, okay, I can go back. Dude, fucking stop spawning them for five seconds. <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> don't want to be there. They just keep fucking spawning. Yeah, I hate when games do that. It really hurts me off. When Blake sends yet another swarm to fight the party in his DD. <laughs> <laughs> How do I get up there? Precision platform. Oh, God. I was just bad, that's all. Please die. Oh, my God. Why are you not dying? Stop spawning. <laughs> Stop spawning. Stop spawning. <laughs> that's one of the best. Oh my god. <laughs> That's one of the best call and response things of all time. Stop spawning. Stop spawning. Goblin, we get Sl one hit on Goblin Slayer was a, uh, definitely a show. That was a good show. Yep. For a while. I haven't watched any of it recently. I finished. Oh my god. I the fucking wall jumping mechanics are bullshit in this game. I finished the f entire first no, season go down. <laughs> of Goblin Slayer. Same which is, here. Which is uncharacteristic of me because I never finish any animals. Yeah. Or shows. Stop with them. Shows Why are there so many of these mini boss? Or shows. Yeah. At least that one I was able to kill by bouncing bombs off the wall. Uh, but yeah. I thought it was pretty good. I liked it. Um, 
I don't know if I'd be interested in watching a second season. Yeah, I feel like you, there's only so much you can do with the concepts, to be honest. Yeah. Because all I can fight is goblins, pretty much. Yeah. And, like, the occasional pop goblin box. So, like... Yeah, I'm surprised they pulled out something like that that early in the show. Mm -hmm. The ho the hobgoblin thing. Well, yeah, but the thing is, they needed to escalate something. Oh come on! Ugh. Whatever. Anyway, sorry. Or he's not, like, I spawned right before. They needed to escalate somehow. I and... guess. I thought the horde was good enough. I figured they'd save that escalation for later. Because now, where do they go with escalation? Like, literally the most threatening boss they fought was a non-goblin. It was just like a fucking demon or something. Yeah, and they could do that, but then it's not goblins. Like, yeah. Oh, hell, in fairness. <laughs> Don't tell me you changed your hair. <laughs> that was a mistake. Oh, okay. I didn't hear you. Even though it was a mistake. <laughs> Uh, can I get another one, please? Thanks. The tensions have ramped up. This is actually not easy. <laughs> it's like some real Mega Man shit going on here. Oh yeah, I can take it. Have you played any of the Mega Man games? Uh, briefly the first one. Oh yeah. <laughs> he hit himself with it and then got launched right into my mom. Mega Man 1 was definitely a thing. Yeah. It was hard, wasn't it? Yeah, it was hard. For me. Yeah. I don't know what to do about this. <laughs> I guess I get hit by it. It's fine. I was almost about to kill him anyway. Yeah, you, you, you beat... That last attack, how the fuck do you deal with yeah, that? Yeah, I don't know. You, you, but you beat him. Oh, you got all the tokens. I did. I actually paid attention this time. Well, cool. You'll never have to replay that one. Oh, yeah. If I do do all the optional content, I have to do these, don't I? Yeah. But there is... <laughs> this one, you don't have to do that in the first one. I'll get you for this. Sorry. What's that, Stumpy? This isn't over, Quark. I swear. I will return someday to destroy you and bring Metropolis to its knees! Uh-huh. Just a word of advice, Nefarious. Quit while you're ahead. <laughs> and so I believe that the threat posed to the galaxy had been ended forever. But uh, seems the script is missing a few pages. <clears throat> Thanks, Professor. I'll take it from here. And so ends the greatest tale of courage and heroism ever told. The true story of Captain Quark's triumph over the nefarious supervillain known as, uh, well, Dr. Nefarious. Aren't you gonna unlock Quark's secret costume? Here, I'll use no. the cheat codes. Let's see. Up, up, down, down, left, right, circle, square, square. <laughs> Even a tutu. Metropolis. That's where Nefarious is going to strike first. Are you sure? It makes perfect sense. Nefarious tried to destroy Metropolis yeah. years ago, but Quark stopped him. Nefarious swore he'd come back and finish the job someday. Now that he has a secret weapon, he's ready to make his move. Set a course for Metropolis. Let's hope we're not too late. I mean, it's worth checking. There we go. We have a lot of bolts. We do. I'm gonna see if there's anything to buy, but then we're definitely done. Yeah. So a thanks for watching. Is available at the gadget see, I knew we were gonna have. Oh video. yeah. I hope it's exactly a hundred thousand because that's how much I have. That would be very poetic to end on. That would be cool to end on. It is not. That's pretty damn expensive. That is pretty damn expensive. It's also not the highest tier armor yet. Uh, the the highest tier one's gonna be a million. That's just how the escalation goes. Yeah. All right. Well, again, thanks for watching. Stay interesting. All right. Um, and good night, I guess. Yeah. Jacob and I have some things to share with each other. Um. Uh, not like that. Uh. I wasn't even playing. Okay. <laughs>
Well, I'm making sure that implication is thrown out. Good. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, fuck do I stop this? <laughs>